right we are loading into skype so peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and uh, you know uh, before we start i saw a muslim saying hey princes where are you calling me princes my friend i am not the one who put eyeliner three times a day like your prophet i am not the one who received quran wearing women clothes i am not the one who pee like a woman and i am not the one who men kiss him down his belly and he say yes right there so if you want to talk about princes well obviously we know which princes we are talking about uh, wait us see um, all right well, my my skype is open if there is any muslim want to call us and tell us why he's a muslim well then we will be happy to have you and we will be listening now from time to time i receive emails or requests from people can you res respond to this guy can you respond to that guy then I ask myself, what's wrong with those Christians? Are you all of a Christian? Are you a potato maybe like Muslims? Why you cannot answer them yourself? Okay, we have Mr. Rashid. How are you, Mr. Rashid? Hello, Christian Prince. How are you, my friend? Wait a, mo a moment. Please wait. I put my Bluetooth. All right. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you like to say to us? Why you are a Muslim, Rashid? Uh, good, uh, good evening. Because uh, I'm in Europe right now. All right. Uh, not the US. So for salam. us, for us, it's almost uh, evening too. Yeah. All right. Salam to all the Muslims. Uh, salam just to the Muslims. Muslim, okay. Not to the Christians. All right. Wonderful. So why you cannot say salam to the Christians? Uh, because if I do that, then uh, I am a hypocrite. Because the Quran does not allow us to, you know. Yeah, but you live in England, right? You're in Europe. Where you live? Uh, I I live in uh, Finland. Mm. And uh, did you uh, take an oath when you took your passport to be a Finnish uh, a citizen that you will protect the kingdom and you will obey the law? Uh no, 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 no. Mm. I am not a asylum seeker. I come here uh, legally, like uh, from work, because uh -huh. I am originally from Nigeria. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, yeah, my friend, don't, okay, we, we, yes, we, don't, yes, yes. we don't care if you say salamu alaikum or not, because we do not need it from you anyway. It is you, it's yes, you Muslims yes, who yes. seek uh, salam with us, not the opposite. So anyway, why, okay. why are you a Muslim? Well, uh, I was born into Islam, and uh, I think it's the right religion, because, uh, and I believe the Prophet is the seal of Prophets, and because the Christianity has been... Uh, uh, corrupted so uh islam came with the truth okay and i believe in it okay uh, christianity is corrupted what is that uh, what do you mean like the bible is corrupted um necessarily i don't really think like the bible is very corrupted i think some things you know, the question is very changed. simple Rashid. you know we, we are adult i don't like to jump over yes yes i know either I know, you I say know. it's corrupted there's nothing it's called little corrupted or you know either it's corrupted or not because little corruption okay is corrupted I feel uh, there are some part in the Bible where it is the way it was before, but there are some things that also be corrupted and changed. Okay, that so, is what so I believe. Why, so why your prophet he says that he agreeing with what we have? Uh, that was uh, the with the Torah, the Old Testament, no, not the New no, Testament. No, that's not true, because simply really? it says uh, uh, he is speaking about the Christians and the Jews believing in what they have with them, the people of the book. Yeah, but that was to the. It was when he sat down. I know the passage you are talking about yeah. was when the Jews no. invited him. No, about no. no. They he sat down on the no. pillow. Uh, no. Little. No. No. What, no. What part are you talking about? No. You see, chapter two, verse number eighty-seven. It's it's mentioned, Moses and Isa, and Isa. We supported him by the Holy Spirit, and then right after that he says, and when a book came, confirm what is with them, which means is mentioning the Christian and the Jews. So the Christian and the Jews are mentioned in the verse before it. The verse after it, it says, "And the you know, and when a book came, confirm what is with them." So we are making things. Show like, me, show me, show me, show I'm me. The you one I know. Chapter two, verse number wait. eighty-seven. Open your Quran from your side. Okay, wait a moment. 
Wait, sorry. <coughs> One moment, please, sorry. Uh, chapter what? Chapter two, the cow chapter. The yeah, cow, yeah. yeah. The Hindu, the Hindu right. chapter, yeah. yeah. No, not the Hindu chapter, what do you mean? Well, this is the cow chapter. Yeah, but the, there's nothing uh, with related to Hindu here. No, it it's is. just uh, no, it the is cow. Because how Allah he, he resurrects people from death. Okay, okay. What is the the verse? The verse. I, I told you, chapter two, verse number eighty-seven. You are not concentrating. Take it easy. I'm concentrating. Calm yeah. down. And your God, Allah, He resurrect people from death by hitting them by beef. This is Hindu. The, the cow. <laughs> what? Yeah, the, the the cow, the cow give life. How Allah resurrect people? Why it's called the chapter of the cow? Are you telling me you do not know? Are you telling me you do not know? Wait, that the let's cow chapter, focus on the. Yeah, we, wait, we, we let's will go focus there on after the one we finish yet. this one. No problem. You're telling me. Sorry, I'm opening it. Uh, it's yeah. a seven. Hmm. I never knew anything about resurrecting people with uh, meat. Yeah, with not meat. You have to do it with beef, cow specifically. Otherwise, you are not a Hindu then. Because the, the cow, the, the Hindu cow, is the one who gives life, not your God. Hmm. Okay, I've seen it. And uh, okay. yeah, so right. chapter 2, verse 37, speaking about the Christian and the Jews. And in the verses, I read two verses, it says, Wait, I'm going to read it. Indeed, we gave Moses the book and sent it after him to say his messengers, and we gave Jesus. Is a son of a clear person speaking in the Holy Spirit. Why is it that every time a messenger comes to you, Israelite, with something you do not like, you become arrogant, rejecting some and killing others? Yeah, but this is about the Jews. Wait, a Christian prince is talking to this is about the Jews, not no, no, the friend. Christians we have now because they have no, changed no, everything. No, no, it's mentioned that we gave Moses and we and Jesus. So, and then a book came confirming what is with them, them, them. Them, which means the Jews and the Christian, doesn't say with the Jews. It says with them, them who the one who mentioned previously, the one who follow Moses and the one who they are believing in Jesus. So, book confirming what is with them. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Oh, we can uh, wait, show I you more. To... We can show you. Wait, more no, verses. wait, wait, wait. I read it again. Okay, read it again. We gave Moses the book and sent after him successful messengers, <laughs> and we gave. Jesus, if you not clear to present to him with the Holy Spirit. Why is it there? Mm. Holy Spirit? Mm. Huh? Wait, Holy Spirit. Mm. I don't think uh Allah I don't think Allah is a spirit and <laughs> what? And I don't think Allah has a spirit and uh so this passage is talking about the Holy Spirit uh Hmm. Okay, I see a, I see a point. Yes, I see a point. I see a point. Okay, it gave uh, the book. It confirmed the book. That does not mean the Bible cannot be changed. You understand, Christian Prince, because we know that the the Christians have always involved the religion with politics. I know uh, Muslims do that too, but the Christ. I know Muslims my friend, my friend, will do you, that too. Are you, are you adult, mature, or you are a kid? It says confirm what is with them. So is the Bible corrupted or not? I think it's corrupted. So, this is so talking about you, 1400 so you, years so ago. So why are your God lying? But because this is the book in the time of the Christians, still we have it in the 600 years. After. No, 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 no. You don't have it. So many things well, okay, have been changed. Okay, even the, okay, even okay, the Jews says hold, the same hold thing. Hold on. In the time of your prophet, he says the Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah. The same book. The Messiah is Allah, Al Masih, who Allah. So the same Quran says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, and the Jews believe that Uzair is the son of Allah. The same book, and you are the one who said that he was, conf you know, confirming only the Jewish Jewish book. But the Jews they believe at that time, according to your Quran, that there is a guy. His name is Uzair, and uh, you know, and the Jews they believe he is the son of God. And this is a chapter nine, verse number thirty. 
I, I never know any Jews that say that, so uh, yeah, I, I, I don't I, think... I, I, yeah. I agree with you. I never know a Jew say... And there's I, no... I know G uh, Christians say that, but I never heard any I Jews know. You're, you're, com your prophet compare is, anybody your to prophet is God. Yeah, because... I mean, we, know, we know that your prophet is mentally ill, and he say whatever he wish, you know? No, don't say that, Christian, please. I, I, not, I just not? want okay. to have a... You see, I'm, I'm... No, 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 you cannot add any insults. If you prove to me this is wrong, it's okay, but let's not go to insult because no, I respect you. I'm not insulting. Okay, do. I'm not insulting, my friend. It, it, all your books say is that Muhammad is mentally ill. Okay, let me ask you: When somebody have yeah. sex and he imagine he have sex, but in fact he did not have sex, is that a mental illness or not? Like a sex dream? No, he's a, he, no, he's awake. He's awake. He's not having sex a dream. He's awake and he go around and he tell people that I had sex with my wives, and then later we find that he did not touch any of them. So if this guy is so crazy, he's hallucinated to the point he do not know what is real and what is fake when he is awake, not when he is asleep. Read it. Wait, wait. I have never. This is Sahih Show Bukhari. Proof, yeah. This is Sahih Bukhari saying, once yes. the prophet, prophet was be so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. Do you see it? Hmm. hmm. Yes. Okay. Once so, the this is is, is that, this Sahir Sahir Al Bukhari? Okay. Yeah, this is okay. Sahir Bukhari. You know Sahir Bukhari. Bukhari yes. is. Uh, wait, I I read. Wait, I read it. Yeah, wait. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done it. Yeah. Which, yeah, but this is just talking about the Prophet was bewitched. There was there's nothing that I talk about sex here. Oh, you know, because I, I, I see. Okay. I, I, I did not tell you the rest of the story. I was going to Walmart to do shopping, and then I saw Aisha, and she told me that my husband, his name is Muhammad. He imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not do that. And here we go. This is what she told me. Read with me carefully. Yes. Okay. Read. I read what? Read. It's in the front of you. I. Uh, he has not. Okay. Ish. Wait, wait, wait. I have never seen it. The prophet continued for such and such period. Imagining that he had uh, slept, had sexual relationships with his wife, and in fact, okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so is that is this that... is Sahir Bukhari? Okay, yeah, this is Sahir what? Bukhari. Yeah, you can get it from McDonald's. Now, what we would do? So, is can you person... put the Arabic version? I, I, I want to show it to my wife, please. Just the Arabic well, version. Your wife, because, she speak uh... Arabic. Your wife, she speak Arabic. Oh uh, yeah, she is uh, Egyptian. Oh, okay, let her read for us. Go ahead. Can you read this person? Is that what it says? Okay, okay. All right. Uh, I okay. I uh, yes. Oh, it's yes. right. It, it's right. But uh, wait. Uh, some you know we men sometimes we dream about uh, you know having a sexual relationship with women. Uh, it's just normal. You know what? I once, just, I, no? once I I had a dream that I have a you know a sexual relationship with my uh, refrigerator. What are you talking about? This is a guy. He is imagining himself having sex with his wives when he's awake. This is not in a dream. And he go around say to his wife, How "Did you like it?" She said, "Like what? You did not even touch me." Because if a person just see a dream, this is a dream. He wake up, he knew that he was in a dream. This guy, he go around, he think he did something, but he, in fact, he did not. So obviously your prophet is mentally ill. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is, uh, this is very surprising. Uh, hmm. I knew he was sick, Sick, uh, poison, but I never knew he was uh, bewitched with uh, black magic. Uh, do you think the poison? I don't know. Do you think the poison he went down to his ear and then to the throat and then come back to his brain? Well, it's uh, I think it's uh, scientifically proven that it's possible for uh, poison to actually affect your your memory, your brain. Ah. Uh, I think that is possible. Yes, uh, yeah. yes, that is proof, but. Okay. I am not going to try to uh, say, oh, that maybe that's the reason because that is just uh, very, mm. very uh, unfortunate. Okay, okay, uh, imagine sex, but uh, I feel this is just a, 
uh, a little time in his life. I don't think this went on for a uh, time. Very... According to Muslims, it took Allah 12 months to release 12 knots that the Jewish guy he did to him. So he made it 12 knots and it took Allah one month to release every knot from Muhammad. So for, for almost a year, Muhammad was mentally ill, according to this. If you go to a hospital for one year of mental illness, still you are, you know, a person, obviously, he have, you know, you will not recover. I mean, they can give you drugs to uh, easy to, but you know, they can fix your brain. So obviously, Muhammad, you have a mental issue. Okay, uh, this is right. But uh, I, my wife, the reason I started uh, listening to you is because uh, uh, like a month ago, uh, sorry for like over talking, but uh, my wife told me she wanted to uh, leave the religion. And it was a, a very big problem in uh, my household because okay. I have a, a daughter and a son. Hmm. So she told me that, uh, what? Yes, yes. She told me that the, uh, that the prophet married Aisha at six years old and slept with them at nine because I asked the sheikh, he said Aisha was 18. And during that time, that uh, the way women were perceived, like it's not like now. Hmm. So uh, I don't really speak Arabic, and uh, I tried looking for the verse in the Quran that says Aisha was like uh, six, nine, but I never seen it. And my wife said that uh, it's you have it. So can I please see uh, my friend, the part where it says? My friend, with my respect to your wife, I hope she will leave Islam very soon, and maybe she did already. No, 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 she won't because uh, it's not. Uh, it's just brainwashing because I feel women are easily brainwashed. Ah, okay. So are you things. saying? Are you yeah. saying your wife is a stupid in the front of her face? No, I'm not saying stupid because they have emotions. You know, we have a daughter who is six years old, okay, so, so that can uh, easily do, like. Uh, do, do men have emotion too, or no? We have emotion, but we okay. can. We I just, feel we, we can see. You, we just showed you that you're a prophet himself, and he is a man. He was imagining things never happened, but the wife she did not. So women can be more healthy in the brain than men. Correct. I know this. This okay. is far, so but uh, we know women. Fast. Now read with me. When the, when your sheikh says to you that Muhammad married Aisha at the age of eighteen, Muhammad was dead at that time, my friend. Muhammad married Aisha yeah. when she was 18. Muhammad is dead when she was 17. Going in her 18, he died. So he married her and then he stayed with her nine nine years after she he, di he, he died. Wait, I, I, I'm going to read the, what you have in the screen. Uh -huh. uh, that the prophet, please be upon him, married her when she was six years old. And what? Oh. And he consummated his marriage when she was. Yeah. Is this Sahir? Oh, I see Sahir Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Can you please send me the link? I uh, open in my own uh, site here. No, problem. if you don't mind, sorry. No problem. Here we go. The link is with you. I haven't seen it yet. But... Okay. Uh, so here we go. What like the perfect mind? When she was six years old, and you consummated this marriage for sure. Time. Okay. One moment. I'm gonna search the meaning of consummated in the dictionary. Sorry. Mm. Dictionary for what? I want to check the meaning of consummated in the dictionary. So me consummated it means he have intercourse. He did boom boom. Yes. Okay. So yes, he married her at the age of six. He was molesting her, kissing her, touching right. her, play with her, masturbating hmm. until the age of nine, and then he excuse my language, he did it. This is another clear sign that Muhammad is mentally ill because a person who is 54 years old, what he saw in a child. Okay, uh, but in the old times, uh, you know, women. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, you know, uh, in the old times, no. I, I will tell you about my grandmother. 
my grandmother at the old time because they grow so fast she said that she got married when she was two weeks old and she did uh, get a bread net and she delivered the child after three weeks and then when she became 10 she had like 10 children and yeah that's normal at the old time I mean, what what are you talking about old time new time a human is a human and now we have more global warming so if it's the weather will change now it's warmer so she is six years old he is fair he's you know actually she is five because six in the islamic calendar five in our calendar so what made a man at the age of 54 think for a second in someone she is a child you said you have a child yourself right you have a daughter uh yes my uh, uh, skype profile it's like my daughter I don't she want to look at six. your daughter i'm saying uh, how old is she uh she's uh, she'll be six by uh okay. You know, God, God forbid, imagine, January 7. God forbid, imagine somebody coming to your house and asking you to sleep with your daughter. What you would do? No, please. Uh, no, not my daughter, because I am very sensitive with my, my uh, friend, children. I understand. So. That's why I'm asking you about it, because you are sensitive. This is your daughter. So you just rejected that. So why you accept to have Muhammad to be a prophet when he does some, something very disgusting? Well, if the uh, I'm never going to try to uh, uh, make it sound uh, uh, make give it a reason. Uh, I don't think it's good, so I'm not going to try to justify that because I have a daughter myself. And uh, okay, uh, but what if uh, like the. I know the the girl is like six years old, but uh, if the father uh, agreed and trust trusted the prophet, peace be upon that, then I don't think there is a real problem even there. When, even when there? Muhammad he wanted to have her, he went to Abu Bakr, and Abu Bakr he said to him, "But you are my brother." He said to him, "I am your brother in religion, and she is mine." So he forced the guy to take her. <clears throat> For a six-year-old girl, mm -hmm. this is the part uh, because in Islam there are so many things that I am like not happy with. But this is the part I've like tried my best to like pr make sure it's wrong mm -hmm. because I'm very sensitive with young children, and this is the part I always pray every day that it's wrong because uh, or it's a lie because. I have a daughter myself, and uh, mm. yeah. <clears throat> Can you show me the part where the prophet said that you are just my brother in religion? No problem. That's Abu no problem. Please show me. Show it to you. you. Okay, let me find it. You are lucky that I'm a person. Everything I have is in my head. I do not need to save them. I can find them in a second. Here we go. The prophet asked Abu, uh, Abu Bakr for Aisha hand. And in marriage, Abu Bakr said, but I am your brother. The prophet, he said, you are my brother in Allah religion. And Aisha is mine. Wahili Hala translation, he says, she is lawful for me. He says, she is mine. She is lawful for me. I will take her, which means he forced the father. Oh, the father is trying to find an excuse to get away from it. And as you see, this is Sahir Bukhari. Wait, I, I read. The prophet asked Abu Bakr for a sentiment. Abu Bakr said, But I am your brother. The prophet said, You are my brother in Allah's religion and his book. But she. Uh, this, I don't think this is, this is uh, wrong. You do not date a child. Mm. Um, what your hmm. wife? What your wife? She say about this? Ask her. Uh, she's with the kids now. I just because uh, she is here and she is showing me like, look at this, look at this, and it's annoying. So I told her to leave. Hmm. I didn't tell her to leave because I am better no because i want to like learn the truth by myself i don't want somebody pressuring me to say okay watch this look at this i told you i don't want that mm. so 
I told her to leave. So why you don't bring her to sit next to you and she can read with you? Don't be selfish. No, not selfish because she has been watching you behind my back, and mm. uh, it was a big problem at home because I married a, a Muslim lady, and now just five year, uh, five seven years now. After she's like she wants to like leave, I'm like no, it doesn't work that way because we both agreed to be we had a Muslim marriage. Also, wait one more. I have this list she gave me on the paper. Once she said there is no uh, marriage in uh, Islam. Is that true? No, there is no marriage. Where is the marriage? But nikah means uh, marriage, no? No, go to a Muslim chat room right now. Say, I want to do nikah. They will bounce you. They will curse you. They will say the F word to you. Because nikah is okay, not a word. Uh, go, to any chat nikah. Room. go to any chat room in Arabic, in Paltok as an example, and type, hey guys, I want to do nikah. If the word nikah means marriage, Nobody will be upset because you are saying I want to get married, correct? So if you say the word, yes. if you say I want to do nikah, and they start cursing you and effing you and bouncing you and insulting you, it's mean you said something bad. Very easy. Okay. Go do but, it right uh, now, and you will see that this is what they will do to you because the word nikah does not mean marriage. Otherwise, if I go to a chat room, says, "Hey guys, I want to get married," nobody will be upset. He did not do anything. He did not say anything wrong. What does nikah? You said nikah mean nikah, sex. Nikah mean to f. No, not to have sex. I wish it said to have sex. It is to f. Let me give you the the clearer proof. What's the difference between uh, sex and uh, f? Like I don't understand. Is no. it not the same word? No, sex nikah is the f street word. You know, like when you say the f word literally. Uh, uh, intercourse yeah. is something diff different. Like you know, uh, like you, you can say asharaha. You know, like as an example in the hadith where Muhammad speak about. Uh, uh, three night, three days. He said Ishra. So Ishra is sleeping with somebody, but it's a it's a nice word. It's not like the F word. Uh, so let me give you an example. And as long as your wife she speak Arabic, she can translate for you. I swear to sit at the ICC. I'm just trying to find the hate on the website. Uh, something wrong with the with the website. Let me try again. There is somebody doing his nails. Huh? There is somebody doing his nails next to you because I hear like some like a brush or something. Uh, wait one moment. It's uh, my wife. Uh, I mean, my study, but she's close to my study. Wait, I tell her to leave, please. Okay, here we go. We found the hadith. Can you please go? Take her and go. Thank you. If I need your help, I will ask. No, let her stay next to you, but uh, she does not need to do her nails right now. So, uh, read with me carefully. She's brushing the my daughter's hair. It's not uh, oh, nails. Okay, sorry. I thought nails. So... Allah Messenger said, can you see it? If a man and a woman agree, and between two brackets, they say marry temporarily. There's nowhere in the Arabic it says marry. You can show it to your wife. It says, فَإِشْرَةُ مَا بَيْنَهُمَا ثَلَاثُ لَيَالٍ So if a man and a, a woman, they agree to do sex, but this is the word ishra, which means they sleep together under one roof. Three nights and three days. If they like to increase, they can increase. This is your prophet. This is not, this is marriage. And look, the funny Muslim they say between two brackets, this mm. is marry temporarily. But this is a uh, prostitution. This is uh, for Shia. No, this is your prophet. Is he Shia? No, but uh, the Sunni, we don't believe in this anymore. It's no, just the Shia. So are you because... saying to me, your prophet at that time he was a prostitute, and now and later he repent? From what I learned, 
from the Sheikh is that during that time is what the time of war and they were like My away from their wives. What, war, what, what does it have to and, do with war? Everybody go to war. Moses went to war. Oh, today we have war. So if the reason is war, nothing changed. Always we have war. So we can do what I always then if the reason is a war. Can you name for me one country don't have a war? Nigeria have war. Ethiopia have war, Sudan have war, uh, Iraq have war, Syria have war. Yes, yes. Okay, so that means... Okay, I get, I, I get your point, but uh, it was later abrogated. How you can abrogate the Quran? Because this is Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. And what kind of God he allow you to go and do nikah to a woman for a few days? What does that mean? You, you are the one who said this is prostitution. What kind of God he said prostitution is okay? And Allah never abrogated this verse. Show me the verse because you know what kind of religion you abrogate what Allah say, but by by what a man say. You Muslim worship God or you worship a man? Who's your God? Oh, we worship Allah. Okay, God. Allah. He says you do muta. Uh, who is the one who said to you don't do muta no more? The Prophet. Okay, so which one you follow? Yeah, but the prophet is speaking uh, from what God no, told him to no, say. No, this is absolutely hypocrisy. Without, I don't want to insult you because if Allah he said no, no, to no. Muhammad, "Do this by Quran," then he should tell him again not to do this by Quran because Allah communicate with Muhammad by Quran. <laughs> so nikah does not mean uh, marriage; it's just uh, friend, if we go to the F word. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. If we go. You know that if a Muslim he divorces his wife three uh, three times, right? If he divorces oh yeah, his wife, yeah, she has to sleep with uh, okay the, somebody the word, else. The word before. sleep. What is the word sleep there in that verse? Do you know? What is uh, what is it? Tanka. <laughs> tanka. Yeah. So if the word tanka means marriage, then we don't say she have to do tanka. A new husband is already a husband. So what Tankah mean? Is yeah. Nikah. She have to F a new husband. So here we go. This is a chapter 2, verse number 230. So the translation here says, unless she married another husband, but this is false. In Arabic it says, unless she do Nikah to other husband. So he's a husband. She have to do what to him? Nikah. How we can understand nikah. this is more. You will see a story of a woman. Her husband was beating her because she refused to sleep with him. Why she refused to sleep with him? Because her husband, his name is Abu Rifa, uh, uh, he divorced her. And she wanted to go back to him. But Muhammad, he come with this rule. Sorry, this uh, yeah, Rifa, he divorced the wife. His name is Rifa. And, the, yeah. and then the Abdul Rahman, a guy, his name Abdul Rahman, he married this woman. This woman, she went to Aisha. She said, my husband did beat me. Look what happened to me. He made my skin agree than, than my clothes. Then the prophet, he said to her, after the husband come, you can read the whole story, take your time, that if your intention to go back to your previous husband, you should know that he is not lawful for you. Read really carefully. Allah Messenger said to her, if, you're, if that is your intention, which means to go back to your previous husband, he is not unlawful for you uh, uh, to marry Rufa unless... Abdul Rahman, he had nikah with you. He have what? Sexual intercourse in the translation. In the Arabic, it says, yadhuqu usaylataki, which means he tests your orgasm. What? Yeah. This, <laughs> wait, wait. Hmm. I'm trying to make sense of the logic, but uh, it's flawed. I don't think this can solve anything. Hmm. It's just... Wait, he so if her, she wants to go, back, want to go wait. back to your previous husband, you cannot do that unless the new husband, he F you and he tastes your orgasm and you taste his orgasm. But that, uh, I'm trying to understand the logic behind that, but that does There's not no help logic. anybody. He's a, he's a crazy man. His name is Muhammad. What logic? What is the logic behind this? A guy, he divorced his wife. If Muhammad don't want people to divorce, why you make it so easy? So he made it so easy, and people they divorce, remarry, divorce, remarry, divorce, remarry. So now Muhammad he tried to fix it supposedly. So he come with the rule: if you divorce your wife three times, Allah told me she cannot go back to you unless she f a new guy, not to marry, because as you see here, she is married to a guy already. Still, he is unlawful for her, for her to go back to the previous husband. Why? Because she did not f the new guy yet. 
that uh, that logic is flawed. Uh, it does not help anybody. <laughs> okay, I see the proof. Nikah means uh, F word, not uh, marriage. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And what do you think okay, about, so what do you think about the prophet of God? He said to a woman, unless he tastes your juice and you taste his juice. No, I don't. Uh, that, uh, it's normal. He's an adult. I think it's okay to say something like that because we, they are all is adults. Is it okay for a prophet of God to be polite? You mean this is polite to say to a woman unless he tastes your orgasm? This is. I'm this not is... saying like it's polite. Polite. I'm just saying like uh, they are all adults and they are talking. Well, why he don't it's say like unless have... you sleep with him? Do he have to say unless you taste his orgasm and you taste his orgasm? You know the old times. Do their way, their grandma. The way of saying things were uh, like different from the ah, way we compose English days. now. So, so they okay. just say so why, the way okay, they understand. Okay, Jesus was there before Muhammad six hundred years before that. Why he did not say such a thing? I feel Jesus was like a very holy person, and th that kind of word is not like fit not, into his description. Fit, exactly, is not fitted. It's fit for for a, for a low trashy person like Muhammad. No, I don't think so. I think it's like counseling in a way. I mean, if you go to a, a pastor, I think they you are, tell them about your sexual life. I think they are going to talk explicit things. This is a normal thing. No, yeah, normal thing. Yeah. So until now, you think your prophet is a good guy after all of this? I am not saying. Wait. Uh, first of all, I was going to just come know about the uh, Aisha. Then if you were wrong, I would just laugh and leave. But uh, Aisha, you prove it to be right and... Uh, now I'm, I have to uh, listen to what you have to say because uh, okay. whenever I ask my sheikh this, he never show me proof. He just say, don't believe these people and don't let your wife speak to this man. This man, he, he knows you that uh, they talk about you and that they advise us not to listen to you or any other questions. Hmm. So the next one, it's uh, about... Uh, no, wait, before. What about if you have a friend and this friend is married to a widowed and then yeah. a prophet he says to your friend what you did marry did you marry a widow or a, a, a little child the guy he says it's a widow not a virgin the prophet he Wait, said to uh, him the prophet said to him why why you don't marry a little child to f a little child so she can you can play with her and she can play with you is that an advice of a prophet of god or a child molester Wait, uh, any, I told you before, I'm very sensitive with uh, children and... Wait, who's, which, what kind of prophet said that? Uh, I think, you're a I don't think you're, that's a you're, nice... You're a prophet, you're a prophet. What? You're a prophet. All those, prophet hadith Muhammad? Screen, all, all those hadith in the screen is the same hadith and this, this is Sahih. Wait, but I, I, I'm going to read it. Yeah, let me. Here we go. I said yes. He said a virgin or a matron. Hmm. I said a matron. Oh, okay. Matron is like a. Yeah. He said, why didn't you marry a young girl so that you may play with her and she with you? I said, oh, messenger Abdullah. Abdullah died and left behind seven daughters, so I have brought someone who can look after them. He said, so he supplicated for me. Well, I feel that it is quite hypocritical of him to supplicate for someone you just advised uh, wrongly. That is like your heart is not in the right place. And uh, I, I feel this is being a hypocrite. You say marry a young child, then that means you don't support her. Him marrying an older woman, and now you supplicate. I feel this is a hypocrite of him. But how old was the child like? Was he like underage? Like my friend, under it says 16? here, if you read with me, it says, My father died, leaving seven or nine girls, orphans between two brackets, and I did not like to bring a young girl like them. So they are children, they are orphans. You don't call an orphan somebody who is 18 or she is 18, right? We call orphan for children yeah. who cannot, you know, handle themselves. So he said, I'm not going to bring someone like them. And this is a translation made by Muslims, remember. So I don't want to bring a young girl like them. So what your prophet is asking the guy to do? To bring a young girl like them. Them who? The orphans. 
Wait, okay. Now this guy who's getting married to an older woman, a uh, lady. Yeah. He said, "My father," and left behind seven or nine daughters. Yeah, but married, uh, if he, it's he the father, already, that that means no, the no, no. He married already a widowed woman. Muhammad asked him, "Did you marry a widowed or a young virgin?" The guy he says, "I married a widowed or previously married." Married. Muhammad he says, "Why? Mm -hmm. Why you don't marry a young virgin, a child?" so she can play with you and make you laugh i mean look at the sickness he wants a wife to make him laugh this man is obviously mentally ill he's a bit of file and you said to me don't insult my prophet this is a bit of file who enjoys seeing kids in his bed and they made him laugh so what is the purpose he's making now the man think to divorce his wife he's asking the guy to think of in different direction why you do that why why you marry a woman she is a growing woman why you don't go after a child she will make you laugh is that a reason to 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 have a child in your bed to make you laugh hmm. and this translation by the way made by the muslims she make you laugh, I'm very, make you uh... laugh. I mean, is is, is Muhammad? Very... Is, do Muhammad think he is a he is a okay? He's, he's a boy too. This is a this is I, a talk of this a boy. Is, yeah, this is not right. Uh, I don't support anything that involves uh, children being molested or abused because they are young. Because I don't like that. But this is not a nice word to say from the prophet. Hmm. And I feel this is just another one of his shortcomings and mistake. Remember, he always prayed uh, for God to forgive his sins. So. I feel this was just a sin. No. So, are you saying to me that Allah, He is going to forgive the sin of Muhammad and Muhammad has mislead all the Muslims and now Allah will forgive the sin of the Muslims because Muhammad mislead them? I thought He's a messenger of God. A messenger of God, He do the opposite. He lead people. He did not mislead people. <laughs> How many millions right now they are having sex with the children because of Muhammad? I know this is a, my wife told me it's a problem in the Middle East. And, oh no, uh, even in the Quran, you know, in chapters, is a chapter of divorce. There's a chapter of divorce, verse number four, it says you can divorce little ones who they are, you know, children's. Go read it. What? Yeah, you can divorce. Can you please show me? Yeah, here we go. And I will show Wait, you. Wait, I'm going to. So you don't get confused. I will show you even the interpretation. So you don't say we are making things up. The chapter. I don't write it chapter, in a paper Chapter now. 65, verse number four. It says those who they have, they, they don't have more uh, ministration. And those who never have one because they are too young. <laughs> those who they are too young. Uh, why? Okay. They never have this ministration. Why? Because of their young age. They are so young. Read careful with me. And as for those women who they, uh, uh, you know, like uh, you decide to divorce them those who they have no menstruation well you have to let them uh, uh, they have to wait for three months after the divorce okay now regarding those or those who they have a doubt about their menstruation okay and then he says and, re and regarding those who they are too young they have not yet have menstruation because their young age huh. they never have menstruation and they are marrying them they are having <laughs> sex with them they are children. So this is the verse of divorce, remember? So if the time of the divorce still they don't have ministration, so in the time of marriage, they what they have? I understand your point. Yeah, and this Quran, remember? This is chapter this 65, is chapter 65, verse number four. Wait, I write it. I write it down. I will give you the link. Here we go. I will post it for you. And this is the yes, thank you, please. And this is the Sira Jalalain. No problem. So how in the world I want to Wait, follow? I I gonna I will send the link to my check now. My friend, why, but now why I know don't call him? Why don't call him right now? You see? Oh uh, well, this is uh t around almost one a.m. here. Oh okay. So if I call him, that's like a disrespect. I don't. Uh, right. The reason why I called you is because you uh like online. So what what about uh, you know? Do you have anyone who live in Nigeria? I think in Nigeria. What the time in Nigeria right now? It's well, I think too. the time in Nigeria uh, be uh, around 11. Do, yeah, it's a, I don't, do you know yeah, any, it's a bit late. Do you know any shake in Canada and USA? It's still early here, you know? 
I mean, for me, it no, is... I live in Finland, yeah, so I only know shake. Oh, here. okay, all right. So, only shake so in what Finland. What do you think, so. my friend? Are you not going to leave us now? Uh, wait, uh, I think this is wrong because uh, you do not do this uh, with children because they are just like uh, innocent and everything. I feel like because I am a very sensitive person to children, you are like uh, pushing the child molestation and child I'm not abuse pushing, more my to me. It's you who mentioned it to me. I did not open my mouth about it. It's you who said that. It okay. is you who said Thank your you. wife. She gave you a list, and this is the list, right? Okay. Next in the list. Wait, 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 wait. Can you go back to the verse, uh, the where it says that you should uh, wait in to get married to a younger child so you can play with them? Because I that I just that is like the, that one gets to me so much. I don't know why. Because hmm. here we go. The guy he said the reason I did marry. A, a growing woman because I want a wife she can take care of the of the kids not someone like them and this is Sahir Bukhari so the Mohammedan can't say to you the game this is weak and this is no you know this garbage they can't say that this is a very authentic and this is Al Bukhari so what is the excuse there's no excuse why a man anyway it doesn't say you are married now as as you told me you are married and you have a family why in the world I want to advise you to find a new wife even if she is not a child what kind of a man he, he you know he go and he whisper in your ear says why why you marry this woman why you don't marry a virgin come on man so now you go home you start thinking ah well you know what i'm going to this is right you know so he this is this is what the devil do the devil he want he want to destroy your family you have you are happy with your wife you have a child from her and you are not complaining and the guy is not complaining in the hadith so what the business of muhammad what is my business to tell you why you marry this woman? You are not complaining anyway. Like if the guy came to him, he says, my wife, she is bad to me. I will say, okay, well, he is giving, he asked for advice. So he got what he asked for. That guy is not, actually the story, if you read the whole story, the guy was in a rush to go to his wife, which means he, he missed her. He said to him, Jabir, what happened? Why you are in a rush? He said, because I, I miss my wife. I'm a newly, I'm a newly married. He said, did you marry a virgin? or a matron what kind of a question why i want to ask what is you know when i ask you is she virgin or not i'm asking you excuse my language i'm asking you can t can you tell me about your wife vagina i mean what is the business of a man to ask such a question if she is a virgin or not what's your business what kind of a man he asked other man did is your wife a virgin or her vagina is been used What's wrong with this prophet? I, I think there is a very uh, perverted way to think, especially when it involves a child. So I'm, I'm not even going to talk about this again because uh, it's really getting to me. So, uh... Aren't you a black person, my friend, from Nigeria? Yes, I, I am black, I am black. Okay, don't you know what Muhammad said about black people? I know there's a bit of a racism with the Arabs and their religion, but I feel that's like uh, the Shia that said the uh, Ethiopians have an <laughs> head like... What Shia? You know? What Shia? No, I, no, this is not the Shia. You see, this is not, not the Shia. This is Sunni. The Hadith we will show you because you said you are a, you are a Sunni. So I'm going yes, to show you only what Sunni believe. I'm not going to show you. Uh, you're a prophet, he says that white people they are created oh i know that verse this from not, the right this, shoulder okay so you and know the, okay so the black people from the left so you know so allah created you as a black person from the left shoulder and he decided to send you to hell and allah created the white people like ants white ants and he said to them you go to heaven and i don't care and he's still after well, all you are a muslim Wait, uh, listen, uh, that's true. I, I know that that's, it doesn't make sense because I know that and I'm still a Muslim, but uh, uh, racism has never been an issue for me because I believe that uh, there is racist everywhere. 
my friend, and, my friend. Uh, but what matters is this my is observation. This is not the question, my friend. You can be racist, I can be racist, he can be racist, she can be racist, but this is the best supposed ethic as Muslim they claim. That Muhammad I don't believe he has the best ethics. Yeah, what I believe he's just like us humans and he makes mistakes, he does stupid things. No, but, but see, what happened is, this is he brought a human. message. This is what he is saying. He is saying, God, he told him that. So what he is saying to you, that when God created you, he created you to be black and because he decided to send you to hell. Read the hate is in front of your eyes. I know that I did. I know. I, I've read it before. I have, I have always had a problem with that hadith. And... Okay. What about Muhammad saying that the most person Allah he hate is a black person? I know that. I know that too. I know about <laughs> those ones, but I... I I just like it's quite stupid. I know I'm still a Muslim after knowing that, but uh, I like I said, racism was just something like uh, I was just something like I didn't really experience it growing up, even living in Finland. So I just didn't put a lot of thought to it. Okay, fine, you have proof. Okay, one last question. What I can mean, you show what, me? I, I don't understand. What do you mean? So, like, uh, is it okay for you to say that the most person Allah he hate is a black person? Is it okay? I to don't say believe that. that. I, I I don't believe that. I think what that, you know uh, that is just. My friend, what do you mean to believe? This is your prophet. If you believe in Muhammad, you believe in what he's saying. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going. Uh, I'm not going to play the uh, weak idea, strong idea. If it's what it says, that is what it says. Well, this is Sahih. But, this is Sahih. This is uh, I'm showing right now in this. I know. I know. I know. And I don't. I, I, I accept every idea. So. Well, you know, uh, uh, you want to play Sahih and the, if you can play, but you are playing with yourself, not with me. You know, you... I feel Arabs, Arabs are racist in a way. That's what my I feel. My friend, uh, Arabs are racist. I, uh... I agree with you. I, I know my people, they are racist. But this is not the question now. Are we going to accept a person to teach us what best for us? And he is the most ugly, racist, filthy ever. I know a great. Uh, uh, Christians who they are black people right now they are preaching the gospel to the white man in Europe who lost his mind so black people they are way better these days in many ways from I anyone who I... is uh, white so what does that have to do with this so in the time of Jesus Jesus did he say go and teach the white go and teach the European no the, the Christian they went no. in all direction they went to Ethiopia they went to Egypt the disciple of Jesus they went to the, the, this uh, to Egypt even to Ethiopia and even to, to all the way to India so uh, I know I know the whole world so you are a black I am white both of us we have a blood and my blood is not better than yours and your blood is not better than mine if I have an accident we can exchange blood correct or, or not yes we can why because we have one father so with the christ we are united with muhammad we are divided so the fool people they say that muhammad he unite people and he don't make a difference and he said look what the white man did to you but the white man did to you the black man did to the white man too remember even the african egyptian they took the whole white jews as a slaves correct Yes, yes, I, I know racism was, yeah. it was so like a no, it's not where everybody yeah. experienced every country experienced. Yeah. And it. not only that, even the African who was sold to the white man in Europe, they were captured by African, the North White Arab African in North of Africa. Yes, I know, specifically I know. Morocco, Libya, and Tunisia. They, they still do it now because the Libya are still selling black people. Exactly. So I don't have, have a, right that, now, as we speak, the, they have more than 20,000 slaves for sale in Libya and nobody do anything about it. Right now, as we speak. That is, I know, I know. That is the problem with the media. I don't understand because they, everybody wants to blame the white man for racism. I'm like, well, white people selling slavery and everything ended years ago. But the ones that are still My going on, we say nothing about it because right uh, we now. don't want to say... Uh, offend the Muslims. I, I don't buy into that. I think the media is just biased. So forget about all that. I don't care about the uh, people in the Libya. I don't care about any of that right now because I care about them. But now we are talking yeah, about, but now uh, we are talking about salvation. Religion. So uh, do we accept Muhammad to be uh, to be uh, the, the, a prophet who teaches us what to be in the same time he is teaching me to be filthy? This is the question. Actually, from uh, everything I am seeing about children and uh, believe, I, I think he is a very uh, inappropriate person and everything he's saying is just wrong. 
and perverted because uh, you do not treat children like that. Children are too innocent for that. So I don't believe uh, he has uh, a right, the right uh, mindset with children. That is what I think. You know, my and friend Rashid, fine. My friend Rashid, you just said that, perverted. You, we heard you. You are already out of Islam. So you, you know, not only your wife, she is going out of Islam. You are already out of Islam. You just called your prophet perverted. Wait, I'm not out of Islam. Yeah, you did. You you called your prophet perverted. Yes, I know. I called him perverted because everybody in their right mind will say that. Because I, I told you I am very sensitive to my friend, I the case of children. Not, and you pushed that you. a lot I'm to not, me. Yeah, okay, fine. I've heard. You made me, you said many things, uh, uh, things he said about children that are wrong. Fine. Okay, I, I have some other questions. One more question. Okay, go ahead. If you keep pushing about the children, oh, it's just going to make pushing. me you like act on pushing. my feelings. Okay. All right, go ahead. What is the question? Can you just show me one proof? No, not one. I need a uh, two proof. One for me and just one for my parents. Yeah. Can you show me proof be that uh, Allah cannot be God? Just one simple proof. I don't want the long journey because now you I'm know, like that's... emotionally distressed. Like I don't like what is happening with the children and what the prophet is saying. So I just need one proof. Very simple, very straightforward. <laughs> yeah, that's very easy, my friend. Have you ever heard of a God? You don't remember which one he created first? The mountains uh, or the stars as an example. So if we go in I the Quran, this is very easy. If we go to the Quran, let us do this. Here we go. Okay. And you can open the verses from your side. If you can send it to me via the link, I can open yeah, it. Yeah, sure, I can send you, no problem. Okay. All right. So, if we go to chapter 79, and I will send you this link first. Here we go. Open it. And I want you to read with me, starting from verse number 27. Okay. Because this is where he starts no. speaking about the creation of uh, the earth and the heaven. The, before that is not really important. Oh, okay, I'm going to read it. Okay. Are you more difficult to create? Or is the heaven that he constructed? He raised its height and he has equally ordered it. It's night, he covers... Can you hear me? Hmm? It's night, it covers with the darkness, mm -hmm. and it's for noon, it brings out with the light. Mm -hmm. And after that, it spread the earth mm -hmm. and brought forth there from its water and its pasture. On the mountains, it has fixed firmly mm -hmm. to be a provision and benefit for you and your cattle. Okay, so what is the last thing Allah so, he did? The last two things he did, he put, he put water, Green water and, and mountains no mountain and, and uh, first verse number 31 water and greenery right yes okay and then, then the last after thing, that he put the mountain the mountain mountains okay. now we go to different chapter in the Quran okay <laughs> send me the chapter the other All right. then you will see how easy to convince your parents now that is that Muhammad is a fraud this is a chapter 41 and let us go and I hold on open this verse with me please here we go this is the link and I want you to read starting from verse number nine Okay. So, uh, Muhammad do you believe very? Do you verily disbelieve in Him who created the earth in two days? And you, what? Who created the earth in two days? Hmm. And you set up rivals in worship with Him. That is the Lord of all men, hmm. genes and all that exist. He mm -hmm. placed therein the earth, first fair mountain from above it, mm -hmm. and he blessed it and measured therein its sustenance for its dwellers in four days equal. Mm -hmm. 
All these four days were equal in the length of time for all those who asked about his creation. Mm. Then E, star, rose over towards the heaven when it was smoke and said to it and to the earth, Come both of you willingly or unwillingly. They both said, We come willingly. Mm. Th then he completed and finished from their creation as seven heavens in two days. And he made in each heaven his affair, and we had done the nearest heaven with lamps to be an adornment, as well as to guard from the devils by using them as masons. Okay, so what is the last thing Allah he did in this chapter? I think it's the heaven, uh, the, the stars, lamps, the lamps, the stars, stars lamps. Okay. Yes, sorry. What the last thing he, Allah he finished in the other chapter, the mountains. So here in this chapter, Allah he finished the earth first, and then he went to the sky, and the sky was a small, correct? yeah okay so the first thing he created the earth in two days and then he created everything in the top of the earth in four days that is six already and that is a contradiction because a different verse in the quran says to create the earth and the heaven is six days now just the earth is six days so the second thing after he created the earth he placed mountain okay but in the other chapter the last thing he did is the mountains and then here the second thing he did after creating the earth is the mountain and then he put all the senses and the green and etc which mean the water and then he went to the sky and there was no sky it was a smoke if you read the nikah theory we see the smoke was coming from the earth which means there was nothing in the sky and then he made the sky seven skies and then he did it in two days and the last thing he did he created the stars okay this is chapter 41 we go chapter 79 we will find that the last thing allah he did it was the mountain the one before it it was the water the one before it he made the earth flat the one before it, he made the day and the night, which mean the light and the stars. The one before it, he raised up the sky. The one before it, he created the sky. So based in chapter 79, the sky was created. The second thing he did, he created the light. And then after that, he made the day and the, after, uh, and, the, and the afternoon, which is funny. And then after that, he made the earth flat. And then after that, he brought the water and the green. And then after that, he made the mountain. He placed the mountain. So it's totally messed up. So what kind of God, he do not know, he don't remember what he created first. I mean, how I can make it more easier for you to see the truth more than this. Open the website next to each other, separate them in two browsers, and put them next to each other and, and laugh. Put them next to each other, both of them. And I will do that actually here from my side. Here we go. I'm going to extend the page. All right, here we go. This is the silly Muhammad. <laughs> this is a prophet of God. <laughs> Which one he finished first? Chapter 10. Look with me in the screen. I'm, I'm putting both in the screen. It's, I know, I, I, see, I see. Yeah, so it's so easy. I mean, you can, you know, you do not need to be genius. And the Quran says, if this is a book that made by other than Allah, which means God, you will find a lot of contradiction. I mean, how more contradiction than this can be? A God you don't remember. Everything is a contradiction. Hmm. Are you difficult or to create or the heaven? Oh, this is chapter and Naziad, verse number 27. In the other chapter of Fusilat, or Fusilat, verse number 10, verse number 9, uh, uh, Allah created the earth in two days. Okay, so which one Allah created? Start first. In chapter 41, the heaven. Hmm. Uh, sorry, in, ch in chapter uh, 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 Nazi'at 79, it was uh, the heaven. In chapter uh, uh, 41, it was the earth. Then the second, in chapter 41, he made the mountain. What is the second? In, in, in Nazi'at, it is chapter, verse number 28. He raised uh, the height and he ordered it. And then he, he, you know, he made the darkness in the afternoon, which means he put the light and he created the lamps. We go back to the chapter 41. We will find that after he finished the earth and he put the mountains and he made the greenery, then he went to the sky and the sky was still a smoke. We go here, we see the opposite. Hmm. 
So the last three is in Naziat is Allah, he placed the mountain, he made them fixed, verse number 32. The last thing Allah, he did in chapter of Fusilat is he made the sky seven. And I see, I see, I see, Christian Prince, I see them, I can read them. Yeah. I just, uh, I, I can, um, uh, the, um, uh, hmm. Look, there is somebody in the in Arabic chat. He is speaking Arabic. He says, "Mastulun wa sakran man katab al Quran." Here we go. He made the poetry. Sakran, mastulun, which means a mad, crazy, an idiot, take a hashish, and he is drunk. Is the one who wrote the Quran, but he made it like a poetry in Arabic. Mastulun wa sakran man katab al Quran, wa basra fil finjan, wa lahiq al niswan. وقال أنا إن 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 إلي إليكم أرسلنا رسولا للعميان. وين القرآن؟ أي أي This is obviously embarrassing right now because uh, I'm quite embarrassed because I was like uh, already proud, like uh, full of myself. I never knew like it was going to be this easy to just like prove me wrong on what I believed in in almost 33 years. And uh, <laughs> uh, Christian Prince. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm very sorry, but... Uh, no, you know what you say, my friend. You are a smart man and you are a respected man and you can tell you don't accept those things. And your wife already before you, she already, she listened to me as you said for I don't know how long she is listening to me. Well, she started listening to you around uh, when my that was like around May. That's okay. what she said because uh, she was a father. I think her father got married to a Christian woman, okay. and it was a problem. Mm -hmm. So, and the father had to convert to Christianity. And the father, she said that the father was like different after he converted. So I just told her that maybe it's just love, you know, love blind man to do anything just the way some guys who convert to Islam to marry a lady. So I never really thought that maybe it was what he was right. learning about Christianity that was making him happy and change. And I said that. Uh, I just, I'm very sorry. I'm just embarrassed. And uh, no, don't, don't be embarrassed. I mean, okay, now we found the truth. So what do you, what do you think? Shouldn't you announce yourself to be out of this cult? Do you want you and your wife and your child in the future to live following such a madman, disgusting man, book of you know stupidity? So uh, Aisha, uh, Aisha was six. Yeah, she was five. Actually. Aisha was six here. in the Islamic calendar. Five in our calendar. Oh yeah, okay, I know there's a difference. So five year old girl forcing your your followers to marry another child. I just I'm sorry, I can't uh the children part got to me because I have a daughter myself and now I've also seen I just needed to prove that Allah cannot be God and 
Well, everything this is, is uh, like, right. God, okay, you know, so you see, I mean, uh, uh, Muhammad, the the, most, the the Arab, they keep saying to Muhammad, okay, why you don't have one miracle? The Muslim, they say to you, there's tons of miracles in the Hadith, but the Quran have zero miracles. You know, when the Muslim, I know that uh, the miracle is false because the Quran already contradicts that, that uh, we did not send miracles. Because yeah, not only that, not only that, you know, not only that, already. if you go and read, as an example, you go to the chapter of ar -Rad. Chapter of the Rad in the Quran today is chapter number thirteen, but in in the uh, according to Revelation, it is at the end of the Quran. So people asking to him at the end of his life still, why there is no sign from you? Obviously, all those miracles in the Hadith are fabrication. And ask yourself why the Quran mentioned the miracles of Jesus in the Quran, the miracle of Moses in the Quran, the miracles even of Prophet we never heard of in the Quran. When it's come to Muhammad, he has zero miracle in the Quran. So enter his life, people asking him why there is no sign from, from your God. What he said to them, know, know. well, you know, Allah, he deceive whoever we want and he guide whoever he want. <laughs> what the heck is that have to, have to do? And why God would deceive anyway? I mean, what, what does that mean? Aren't you sent for guidance? Aren't you the Quran says Siraj and Mudian, which mean a light of guidance? So, uh, and how come Muhammad is a Siraj and Mudian? So, what is Allah? You know, when we ask Muslims, uh, the Quran speak about the light of Allah. Who is the light of Allah? Mm -hmm. Is that a man? They say no. Allah Himself is a, is a light. Okay, wonderful. Allah Himself is a light. So why He says that Muhammad is a light? And if Muhammad is a light, how he can be a light and he himself is a fool? I'm, no, I'm never going to be upset if you call the prophet a fool at this point. No, no, my but, friend, uh, this is a Christian prince with my respect to you. You you, you uh, get upset, you don't okay. get upset. I don't care. This, uh, I, this is how I am, you know. <laughs> you know, don't, th don't think I, I say I will, not change, I will change the way I talk. I don't care I'm talking to. Muhammad is a fool. You know, you like to listen to me, you are welcome. You don't like, it's up to you. But Muhammad I'm very, I'm, is not a liar. I'm very Muhammad sorry. Himself, yeah, Muhammad himself is a scam. He himself is lost. He himself, he cannot even see if his wife is in the bed or not. He's, he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he's not. So how this person can, can, can light me in the darkness when he himself cannot see simple thing if his wife in the bed or not? Uh, okay, I get your point from that. Muhammad uh, he went to the seventh heaven and then he found the Nile River coming from the lotus tree. Like, how in the world that happened? The Nile River is coming from the lotus tree and the Euphrates is coming from the same tree too. So did Muhammad go and look what he says. Sihan wa jihan wal furatu wa nil. Kullu, kullu min anhari jannah. Sihan wa jihan is a, is a river in, in Turkey and Euphrates. So look, all the rivers we have in this earth are rivers coming from the tree of Allah. Where? In the seven heaven in the galaxy. Okay, how the water coming here? So when, when a man, he says such a statement, he went all the way to the seven galaxies in the top of a flying mule and nobody saw him. And then he went there and he found two rivers going in and two rivers coming out. One of them is Euphrates. The other one is the Nile. The other one is Sihan. The other one is Jihan. And then he claimed that those are coming from the tree of Allah. And then we go and we check. We find that the Nile River is coming from the middle of Africa. And Euphrates have nothing to do with it. It's a small, tiny river, actually, Euphrates. It is coming all the way from the south of Turkey. So how in the world they met under the tree of Allah and the seven galaxies? Obviously, this person is a madman. He's stupid. If he knew a little geography, he would not say such a thing. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I know. Uh, I know. Uh, yes. You know, if, if somebody never been in Nigeria and you ask him about Nigeria, he will start doing poo poo, correct? Because he wouldn't, he don't know. This is what happened to Muhammad. Actually, I you, just feel he's like a talkative. He's just a person who don't, they, who don't, who don't know how to keep his mouth shut and the more he talk the more he do poo, poo and actually i'm very grateful that for muhammad he was very talkative because it's going to be hard for us to expose his stupidity and his lies because you can't expose you know in the middle east we have a tradition if somebody is a fool like like you know you know we are arab so when you want to get married you take your parents with you to ask for the hand of that girl you don't go just by yourself so you the same thing as Nigeria. Okay, we yeah. do that too so in Nigeria. If the, if the son is a stupid, the parents they will say to him, "Listen, when we go there, you don't talk, okay? Whatever they say to you, don't answer. We will answer." This is Muhammad, but Muhammad he talk. 
Muhammad cannot keep his mouth shut. Muhammad is a doctor. Muhammad is an astronomer. Muhammad, he knew about the space. Muhammad, he knew about medicine. The 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 negla seed is a medicine for all <laughs> disease. If you if you eat ajwa, you will not be poisoned, and no, you will not be witched. And he died by poison, and he was bewitched. And uh, uh, could drink camel urine and uh, you know the guy he came to him he says my brother his belly is hurting him he said to him give him honey the guy came second day he says after a few days he said my brother get him more sick he said to him I told you give him honey third day third time he came he says my brother is dying he, he said uh, Muhammad he screamed at him he said I told you give him honey he said I'm giving him honey and he's getting more sick he come again obviously the guy is dying Muhammad he screamed at him and says I told you give him honey Allah he told the truth and your brother's stomach is lying have you ever heard of a lying stomach? So imagine no. you go to the doctor and then the doctor scream at you because you said to him, my stomach is still hurting me. He says, your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. Okay, all right. I I, I see, I believe. You know what? Uh, I, I'm going to call you back. Okay, Christian Prince. I'm going to call you back. Where you want to go, my friend? I want to come. You know, just say, if, if, if you are shy to ask your wife to talk to, I understand, but you are the man. Say it. Say I am out of this garbage. I just uh, I feel quite embarrassed because I was saying that women have emotions and all this, and at the end of the day, I just happen to be a fool again. My so, uh, My uh, okay. I, I'm very sorry to everyone our friend. I never knew that she wasn't like acting on her feelings, and it was just proof. No problem. You see, you are a very respected person, I can tell. And all of us, we, you know, the good man is the one who admit when they are wrong. The, the stubborn, the mule is the one who don't want to admit that they are wrong when they are wrong. So look how I wonderful you know, God he gave you a gift. You know, he made you a wise man. When you saw the evidence, you said, that's not right. So based on what you said, it's not right. Why you don't say, I'm not going to follow Muhammad no more? I'm not going to follow a pedophile and a perverted person. So I mean to that. I agree with you. I don't support uh, anyone that does that to children and uh, uh, he has no honor. Uh, he has no honor at this point because uh, I will, if someone comes for my daughter at, at her age, I will, uh, I will kill the person because a six-year-old... Uh, Five-year-old is not old enough to even. They just want to enjoy their childhood, play with their friends, and uh, on that man saying a five-year-old and liking the girl I wants to marry is just should not be in society because that is a very evil mindset and. I am so sorry, and I never knew. Uh, this is uh, I don't the this man has no honor and uh, I will not respect somebody who has no honor. So sorry. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend. Don't be sorry. Actually, this is a good day for you. I'm sorry to other children that has been victim from Islam because what's the point of treating children like this? They, they are grown up women that you can marry who are still beautiful, and why you have to? destroy the lives of children and uh, Absolutely. so I feel I, I feel sorry for the children and their family who had no say in the matter and I hope God forgive me and forgive the my friend God God is always now he's here listening to you and to me so I invite you to believe in Jesus right now you said to me something very nice and I agree with you you said when we spoke about what Muhammad he say, you said, I don't feel like this is fit for Jesus to say, right? Why? You said because he's yes. uh, like a holy person. But he is holy, you know that. So, your wife, she was asking you that she think it is right to become a Christian, as you told me in the beginning, if I got you wrong. Right. Correct? Yeah, yes, so she did. Your wife, she wants to be Christian, and you are opposing her. But now, the reason to oppose that is gone. So I invite you, both of you, right now, and we will invite the child too, to accept the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. So the whole family today, they will be a happy family forever. 
because the Lord, he says, a happiness will be in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of our Father, if one soul come back to him. This is how much he loves you. This is how much he loves your child. Christian Prince, I want to ask you one question. Huh? Sure. My dad is dead. So, is that a Muslim? Uh, so, if uh, he didn't know better, like, maybe where he grew up in, it was just all Muslim, they never heard of Christians. If he grew up like that, but he was a good man, what would happen to him? My friend, I believe that the Lord is the Lord of justice. So for now, don't worry about your father. He passed away, and it is I am not God to judge. The Lord, the Messiah, you can pray to the Lord, you know, to, to for, forgive him, and but... This is not a decision I can say to you because the Bible says that the Messiah is the only way and the only door. So your prophet, you saw your father, he passed away sadly, believing in such a man. But maybe the Lord, he can forgive him because you have a good heart. I don't know. But the Bible confirmed that there is no salvation except by Jesus. Which means if he, if there is somebody in the world can save him, it is going to be the Messiah. So everything is possible with the Messiah and nothing is impossible with him. So you can pray to the Messiah asking for forgiveness of your parents and we may, you know, wish that he will accept. But I cannot speak for something I have no authority of. But I can say to you that the one who accepts the Messiah and he die, he will live. This is what Jesus said. He made a promise. Whoever believe in me and die will live. So you yourself... I, I believe that because Jesus is still alive according to the exactly. Quran. Exactly. Jesus is still alive. And why is he still alive? Most of can't explain. They say because he did not finish. So why is in Muhammad then if Jesus is not finished? <laughs> well, the, the truth is I, 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 I always uh, admire Christians. I never believed what he believed, but I always had this feeling that if I was not going to be a Muslim, I would always be a Christian because uh, I've seen the Christians in their habitat and quite nice people the most of the things they do for muslims i don't think muslims would do back for exactly. them exactly like now uh, muslims they come from around the world to christian land if a christians they go to the muslim land what they would do to them do you know what they are doing to no. the if a Ghanaian refugee in islamic countries they are raping their daughters they are selling their daughters in the market as sex slaves while the daughters uh, of the Afghani, about this. they go to America, they give them a school, free education, free health insurance, free housing. And this is what they do to them in Europe. But if you go as a Muslim to Islamic country, the first thing they will ask you for is sleep with your wife or your daughter. Hmm. Who was the one who was the one capturing Muslim women and raping them? It was ISIS, not the Christians. It wasn't the American too. Yeah. It wasn't the I, French. I, I, I... Even the, I know this, I even know the this. Israeli army, they never capture a Muslim woman and they rape her. I know, I know, I know. Uh... So my friend, I invite you, and by the way, I'm not defending those people because uh, uh, people, they do bad. And we don't judge Islam because of a bad Muslims. But was Muhammad bad? That is the question. Muhammad was bad. So we judge Christianity by Christ. We judge Islam by Muhammad. I don't judge Islam by a, a person he is a, a, a perverted. But if Muhammad himself is a perverted, then Islam is a religion of a perverted teaching. I saw I saw a video on the Afghan family selling their daughters for food and to other men. And uh, I think that is not is wrong. But uh, anyways, I don't care. Uh, I think you're right, CP, and I'm um, sorry for. I want you. I want you to think with me. I want you to think with me before you go. I want you to think with me why you don't say, "I accept Jesus as my savior." What is stopping you? Your wife already in her heart she want to be a Christian. You in your heart, I can tell. I know. I know she practices uh, Christian uh, their beliefs sometimes when I'm not around because I I have eyes. I just keep quiet because I know I see her with the Bible and uh, although she tries to hide it, but it's quite obvious we share the same uh, walk-in closet. So I see the Bible. She's not very good at hiding things. I, whenever I open the 
TV. I, I try to search something on YouTube. I see a, a, a what she has searched before. She doesn't really know how to delete those stuff. So I know she practices it. I know she stopped uh, wearing the head covering for my daughter. I know all these things, but uh, I was never going to like tell her, hey, you can't do this now. I just told her that uh, if I don't see proof, I'm not going to believe it. And uh, so, Rashid, are you well, I've seen proof. Rashid? I she can, I she can practice the religion, and she can train her daughter and her son the way she wants in a Christian hood. I have no problem with it. So, do you accept Jesus? But for as your me, savior, Rashid, do you accept Jesus as your savior? Remember, Rashid, you might go to sleep, you might never wake up. You just asked me a question about your father who passed away. You don't want to be the person who passed away and you are not saved yet. So I say to you, accept him and go to sleep happily because then you wake up or not, you are saved and your family will be saved. So I invite you right now in front of everybody. I invite you from my heart to accept the Messiah, our Lord, as a savior. He is the way, he is the door, he is the resurrection. The Muslim, they say to us, where Jesus said, I am God. When he say, I am the life, I am the resurrection, is that God or not? Where is life coming from? He is the life, he said. I am the resurrection. I am the one who will resurrect you. I am the way, which means there's no salvation but by me. I am the truth. This is one of the names of Allah. Allah stole it from Jesus. So all the description belong to Jesus. The Muslim is stole it and they give it to their God. And yet they say in a hypocrite way saying, where Jesus says I am God worship me so my friend Jesus do not need worshipers Jesus will lose nothing if you accept him or not it is your salvation it is your loss it is your win Jesus lose nothing and he win nothing okay 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 yes okay no problem uh, uh, I, I even before when I was a Muslim I always respected Jesus and but I'm going to ask you a question. One last question, okay? Okay. See if, if you don't mind. All right. You are a Christian, and do you, if the world was to end today, where would you go? I'm not worried about it, because the Lord, he said. No, no. I'm talking about, like, salvation. Like, are you sure of your salvation, like, if oh, yeah. the world was oh, to yeah. end? Why, sure, well, why not, you know? Because, you see, because if I am a sinner, because you know all of us we are sinners so if a person he is not going to go to heaven because a sinner none of us will go to heaven let us make it clear because not yes. a single christian not a single muslim not a single hindu not a single atheist not a single human being is not a sinner jesus is not so our sin based on our sin we aren't qualified to go to heaven but the one who accept the messiah and this is a promise and he do his will which means he do his best to fight his sin you have a sin in your life, you have bad things in your life, but you walk with Jesus and you work hard to fight it. He watch you, he see you, he see what you are doing. He see that you feel guilty when you do sin. If he, he see that you 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 are you, you are trying to get rid of it, you are not surrendering to it. That's what Jesus wants from you. He says, Be holy like your father. Be holy like your father. But you will not be holy, but be holy, which means it's a it's a project you work in, it's a walk you walk with the Messiah and he will be there to help you. So those who believe in Jesus for sure will be saved and he is the one who resurrects people from death. He himself is resurrected from death. So why I will not trust him and why I will not believe in him and why I am going to be worried what I will be if he overcome death by death. Talk is cheap, but with Jesus talk was reality. He is the one who made the blind see. He is the one who made the one who cannot walk, walk. He is the one who says to the one who is sitting in the ground, he never walked in his life. He says, your sin is forgiven. The Jews, they say to him, who are you, this God, <sighs> in their mind, who can forgive sin? Because only God can forgive sin. He said to them, which one is easier to say to him, your sin is forgiven, or to say, carry your bed and walk? So my friend, Jesus can make you now carry your bed, even if you cannot walk, and order you to walk, and you will walk. So with Jesus, nothing is impossible. And this is why I say to you, your salvation and my salvation is granted if we believe in him. So if the world was to end, your salvation is granted, you believe, right? Absolutely. That's what you uh, I'm going to trust you because uh, not just... No, don't trust me. No, 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 Rashid, I don't want you to trust me. I want you to trust Jesus, my friend. 
The trust never betrayed. I, I I trust Jesus because I see his work and what he does. Exactly. Never put a trust on even me. Even the Quran, even the Quran does not give, uh, portray him in a bad light. So. Never put a trust like in, in a, uh, Sheed, my advice, never put your trust on a man because all men are sinners, including me and you. So put your trust in the Lord, for he is the only holy and he is the only one who will not betray you. People change, people corrupt, people follow Satan, people do bad, people do wrong, people do good. But with Jesus, there's nothing bad. He is the only good and he is the good shepherd. So I say to you, put your trust in Jesus, not in Christian Prince. Christian Prince, he himself cannot save you. Jesus, Christian Prince cannot even save himself. He needs Jesus to save him. So me and you, my friend, we need the Messiah. So I say to you, put your trust in Jesus and say, Lord, the Messiah, I believe in you. I trust you. I want to follow you. Please accept me. Uh, I believe I'm going to follow him. I believe Say it loud, don't, don't be shy, think. be proud, be proud to be for the Messiah. I am not shy, I am not shy, I'm just like a, just like in my heart, I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel like this sense of uh, remorse and reflection, like I'm just reflecting of all my life, like it's like I'm just, it's like my brain is like making me overthink uh, the things, uh, the mistakes I have made and how I can be better. So I'm just emotional. Um, <sighs> Christian Prince. I, I, I'm going to believe in Jesus. I believe. I'm going to follow him and uh, I'm going to follow Jesus. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to be perfect, but I'm going to try my best to be a better Christian and a better person and uh, I'm going to believe in Jesus Christian. I mean to that my friend, I mean to that and we ask all the Christians to pray to our friend here and his family, his wife already she was asking him to join the faith, he was resisting, he was fighting but today the Lord he conquered for good, he conquered to build not to destroy and now he will build a new family and new children and new wife and husband who they live under the Messiah. And now I ask you, my friend, you, your wife, who she, you are saying she is a practicing, she is, she is, a, she have faith already in Jesus, but there is something you need to do. You need to learn the Bible, and then when you are ready, you go and baptize your family, all of you, so you can receive the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Uh, one more question. Yes. Uh, can I like uh, take my mother, even because she is like uh, very old? You can, why and not, I my don't, friend? Just explain, I, I don't her, know she... just explain to her, and if she say, I believe in Jesus, she is she is, she is, is more than welcome, why not? Jesus, he loves everybody. Your mother before you too, because she is a she is a wonderful woman who gave her life to her children, so she have a service. You know, she did already, she served, but there is, there is still, there is a need of salvation, and that can be received through Jesus only. So your mother, anyone, anyone in your family, you know, bring all the family to Jesus. That will be great of you to do, because then the Lord, he will remember that not you did not only come by yourself, you come with a group of people. You became an apostle to the Messiah. You saved many, not only yourself. Okay, one, one more question. Sorry. Uh, my sister is... Uh, okay, I can also like uh, take my sister to the baptism. Because I, I, I'm going to try to talk to her because I believe now and I would want her in this. Uh, I'm not like saying I'm going to be a dictator and dictate how she will live her life. But I feel if this is the truth, I don't want her to miss on it. And yeah, we don't, if force, it's okay, you don't uh, force your sister, you don't force your mother. They have to be true believer from their heart. We, we are not Muslims okay. and we don't do what Muhammad he do. So they have to believe from their heart that the Messiah is their savior. Otherwise they cannot receive the baptism and they are not saved so a person he get baptized because somebody is forcing him he is not saved and because this is fake this is not true so he is not saved and he and he or she will not go to heaven because simply they never believe in him so faith okay. had to come from the heart is not because somebody taking you from your hand and says you have to do baptism because christianity is not islam we don't believe in the shahada 
When you witness to okay. Jesus, you witness by the heart, not by the tongue. You witness by the fruit, not by the talk. Jesus said from their fruits, you shall know them, not even from their names. <laughs> Thank you, dear Saint Prince. And uh, I am uh, very sorry for what I said about... Uh, well, you did not hear what I said because I said it behind your back. I curse you and say bad words about you and your family, and I'm very sorry. Uh, I should have uh, at least given an effort before labeling you as a very bad person. I feel now you just you really care about uh, the Muslims. That's why you really do what you do. And uh, thank you. And uh, I, I, I'm gonna. There's a church close to me. I'm going to talk to them about the baptism and I would like to go with my wife and kids and also my family. But I'm going to have to like wait a week and talk to my family first. Yeah, if you don't mind. If, if God don't mind. No, you see my friend, I, no, first of all, don't worry about you cursing me because the Lord, he says that this is a blessing for me uh, and this is, will not really hurt me anyway. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Bible is full of verses about about uh, uh, people cursing Christians and those Christians they they will receive even a, a reward because they've been cursed because of the name of Jesus not because they are bad so I'm not really upset from you and I do not need to forgive you because already you th this is your business with the Lord and the Lord he washed your heart already and uh, I have no authority to even to say to you uh, your sin is forgiven for the Lord. He is the one who forgives your sin. For me, from my side, I'm not upset from you. And uh, please bring more yes. people like you to curse me so they can leave Islam later. <laughs> uh, I can uh, talk to my sister. Maybe you can uh, speak to her too because I think that would be a lot better because I do not really know much about Yeah, let her contact me. Like and she can be curse able me. To you know? converse. Yeah, let her bring. Let her no, bring she her. is not. <laughs> she's not really like that because my sister is married to someone who is not religious, and uh, we are from Yoruba tribe in Nigeria. But uh, right. anyway, sir, uh, thank you, Christian priest. Now I will, I will just go and apologize right. to my God wife. Bless now. And say our right. greeting, all everybody here. We have a lot of people thank here. Thank you very happy much. For you something. and your family and your wife, say send our greeting to your family, and we pray for all of you. To receive baptism. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll God, the thank you so much. And uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you. All right. We are happy to our friend here that he decided to leave Islam. We have a Muslim. Let us see. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Can you mute uh, YouTube, please? Mute YouTube, please. Are you there, Mr. Khalid? Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air, Mr. Khalid. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm fine. What do you like to say to us? Uh, I just want to get to know who you are. Well, uh, me is not important. I'm not a prophet. Do you know who's your prophet? Yes, my prophet is Muhammad. Our prophet is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. What is his last name? Uh, not sure. Is it true his last name is Kilabs, which means dogs? Not sure. Okay. Who is your God? Forget about Muhammad. Allah. What is what is that? What what Allah mean? God. Allah is God. So you Muslim, you say we don't worship. There's no God but uh, God. When you say Shahada, you say no God but God, or there's you say no, no God but Allah? There's only one God. This is not the question. I'm asking you, who is Allah, your God? You said your God is Allah. I said, who? what Allah mean? What Allah mean? Allah means God. Uh, 
So if Allah is mean God, so then, okay, let's go to the Quran then and read together. I, uh, you can see my screen, right? Uh, I'm on my phone, I can't see anything, no. Okay, in the Quran it says that Allah, he witnessed that there is no God, uh, that there is uh, that uh, he is, there is God his name is Allah that Allah he witness that there is no God except he he who we do not know what do you think chapter 3 verse number 18 do you uh, do you know do you know Arabic I'm trying I'm learning can you read that can you read the uh, the verse in Arabic yeah I will try shahid Allah annahu la ilaha illa huwa wal malaika wa ulul alm so what does that mean yeah, hmm. yeah, la ilaha illahua. There's no God except Him. For example, when him you who? say Jesus is God or the him Holy who? Spirit, Him who? Like Allah. Well, Allah, He's saying there's no God but Him? Him who? There's no God. Okay, if I'm a Christian prince and I'm saying there's no Christian prince but Him, that does not make sense. I should say there's no Christian prince except me. But when you say there's no Christian prince except he, this means there's I'm not a Christian prince. Hmm. I don't think you're understanding it right. Well, I you speak Arabic, I speak Arabic, so you don't tell me I don't understand it right. Give me the answer. If I say I am a Christian prince and there's a, a, a Christian prince, there's no Christian prince but he. He who? La ilaha, la ilaha illa ana fa'buduni. My, my, okay, hold on, no God, hold on. he says, he didn't say even Abuduni, what does that mean? Hold on, first of all, it says, Allah, he said, who is talking? Allah, right? It doesn't say even who is the yep. one who is talking. It says Allah uh, witness, Allah witness. Who is the one saying Allah witness? Allah himself. How? He's saying, okay. basically he's saying I witness. Where is the word I? Show me the word I and I will shave my 20 foot beard. Here we go. You speak Arabic. I, I, how is he? You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Show me the word I, and I will I will shave my beard right now. Because if he says just I, what are the, the people won't know who he's talking about? So he said Guys, Allah say, as in himself, say, so people if know. If you say who he I, is. people will not know. But don't you Muslim, you say that the one is talking in the Quran is Allah. So we know already he's talking. So you say it. You you are the one who added a letter ago saying I. Yeah, he said I. Well, when I asked you what is the word I. You said if he say I, we will not know it is him. But you are the one who add I. So why you add it if it's going if, if adding it is going to mislead us and then we will not know who's he. Now we are more confused because he says Allah witness that there is no God, right? Allah witness. Allah witness. Who is saying that? You said Allah. So why Allah say Allah witness if Allah is the one who's talking? So people like you, for example, people who don't know Arabic. Like, how are they supposed to know who you're talking about? My friend. So when the tra when first, you read the translation, all, you know who first, it is. First of all, uh, uh, we are talking about people who knows Arabic because you know Arabic supposedly, and I know Arabic. Do you know Arabic or not? I do. Okay. So Allah, Allah, witness. Who is talking? You said to me, Allah. But does it make sense to say that Allah witness unless I am not the person Allah? Telling you about the person is he is Allah that what he did if I am the one is talking and I am Allah I will say I witness yeah yeah I, I see what you mean this is something yeah uh, this is something uh on on your end that's not understanding because hundred percent if you uh if you ask somebody like a scholar for example obviously Muhammad hijab Zakir Naik uh, these men Muhammad, they would Muhammad obviously hijab is a scholar explain no? to you. Muhammad hijab is a scholar He's a debater. What does that mean? Hello? Hello? What does that mean? He's a debater. What does that mean? Is that a career now? You said a scholar. Is is, is Zakir Naik a scholar? Hello? I'm here. You don't hear me? Oh, hi. It keeps on cutting a yeah, little. Okay, I'm that, good, I'm good. You said Mimi Hijab is a scholar, but he's not. I asked you, is a scholar? You said he's a debater. Well, debater, everybody debate. He's, he, uh, the foolish one is the well, most people who like... debate, but still they say stupid things. As an example, Mimi Hijab, he said that not a single scholar, when, when David would say to him, Allah have hands, Allah have foot, Allah have a shape. But Mimi Hijab, he said, who said so? Correct? 
Allah has attributes. This is not, not a question. He asked him, not, do Allah have hands? I'm asking you right now, do Allah have hands or not? Is there a specific verse or anything that says he does? This is another question. I mean, you are the Muslim who speak Arabic and now you're asking me if there is a specific verse. When Mimi Hijab, you are the one who mentioned him, which means you watch him. So when this guy, he said in a debate and the debate is posted in his channel, when he said to him, Allah has hands, he said, who said so? Allah have foot, he said so. Allah have a shape, who said so? So I'm asking you, do Allah have hands? Uh, did you say that Muhammad Hijab said he does? He said, no, he said, who said so? Okay, let's say he doesn't. So what's the what's the uh, what's your question? What's but you the... say the scholars they say the scholars they say that Allah have hands, Allah have a foot, Allah have five fingers. This is what the scholar says. So you are naming for me a kid who speak whatever he wish. He's just a, just a YouTuber. You say whatever you want. Nobody count on you. So I'm asking you now. Muhammad. You are a Muslim. Do Allah have hands and foot and fingers, or he don't? And he have a leg. Maybe, I, I guess, I guess. I mean, if Muhammad Hijab said that, then he, there's a good chance, yeah. But no, there, Muhammad, we don't Hijab, know everything. Not Allah, that. you are not listening, my friend. Allah, like we Muhammad, don't know, we don't my know. Friend, my friend, Muhammad Hijab did not say so. I'm asking you, Muhammad Hijab. He said, "Who said so?" Which means he don't agree with it. He don't agree with it. He said, "Who said so?" So I'm asking you now, you as a Muslim, do you agree with Muhammad Hijab? that Allah don't have hands and leg and fingers and etc or Muhammad Hijab was lying about his God yes because no he was right because Allah can take any form he wants Allah doesn't have one form Allah is Allah he can he can uh, he can become whatever he wants he doesn't have to stay uh, in one um, shape I guess you can say or okay. one you, look what you just said Allah don't have to stay in one shape that's mean he have a shape <laughs> And you just said to me that Allah is a transformer, like the one we see in, in the his movie. natural shape. Your God, Allah, well, is I mean, a your God, Allah is a grandizer. He is a car when he want. He is a truck when he want. He is a man when he want. You just said he transfer his shape. Everybody heard you. So Mimi Hijab, he lie. And those are your scholars saying okay. clearly that uh, Allah, so. yes, he have hands. Allah have uh, have have a fingers. Allah have etc. So the Muslims are lying to us when they speak about their 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 God. So why they say to us that Allah he don't? Uh, what you see and what you it's, do not see. Whatever and he's Allah not created. Wait, 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 Jesus, and he does not just, die. Wait, wait, and he um, does not have an wait, ending. Just, friend, 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 hold on, hold on. I want you to listen. Yeah. I want you to listen. Let me see if I can uh, 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 link that to you, uh, uh, to, Sky, to Skype. Uh, are, are you listening to the video I'm playing in Skype? Listen carefully. So Allah described. Do you see? Do you hear that when I play the video? In the Quran that he has a face. Um, Allah okay. described in the Quran that he has two hands uh, when he addressed Iblis, Satan. No, just and he told him. Saying, you, don't? you don't? Okay, hold on. No. Let me change the setting of my Skype. I will go to the audio. Give me a second. So you can receive. What's the this. video about? Well, the Sheikh, this is your Sheikh, is saying that Allah, he have hands, Allah have uh, etc. Uh, you will hear it. Hold on. Give me a second. Wait, so uh, I, I saw this video where you debated Muhammad. Okay, no, I did not debate him. He, he don't dare to debate me. He just hang up on me seven, 20 times. No, no, he is the one who claimed that he would debate me. And I called him because he did not call. He told the Muslim he would debate me, but the coward he did not. Now, the, uh, 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 your voice became low. Can you speak louder? Okay, hold on. Let, let me hold on. I'm trying to fix the audio here. For some reason, uh, let us see, building out. Talk now, please. Yeah, here, uh, CP, CP. Okay. Do you have Look, a video? What uh, prevented you, you video? from prostrating to what I have created with my two no, hands? I hear nothing. So this. You hear nothing. Okay, I will give you the video. I will give you. Wait, the video. CP, are you with me for a sec? Are you with me? I am with you. So. It says it's a so I just searched up Muhammad Hijab versus Christian Prince. Last year, Christian Prince destroyed by Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa. Career ended. Really, he did. How? Yeah, sir, How? search up Muhammad Hijab versus Christian Prince debate. Okay, well, there's no debate. He said to me, he said to me that you said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. He is the one who said that too, and I was quoting your prophet. This is what your hijab, he said in the video, correct? He said, Christian Prince, he said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. I told him I was 
coaching your faith a prophet and then he hang up on me and call me pastor right so because no, you were because you were talking to a woman and you were talking about private parts and stuff you were being first messed of all, up first of all this is not private this is a life t t talk right like now and she is a growing woman and she is a whore because she is the one who said that jesus was playing with his mother boobs do you want him support your sister who speak like this about jesus where did she say that i can play the video right now for you so Mimi Hij well, Mimi Hijab, tell me, just Mimi tell me Hijab, what she listen, said. Look, look what happened. Mimi Hijab is a son of Mutah Coward. He cut the video. The woman, she is insulting Jesus, saying that Jesus was having sex with his mother. And then I said to her, well, in fact, you are insulting Jesus for no reason. You are filthy, trashy. In fact, it's your prophet who said, suckle me. So the filthy Muhammad Hijab, he cut that part and he said, the Christian prince, he said, suckle me. And now I want you to look at the screen. This is Muhammad Hijab himself going around saying to Muslims, suckle me. Do you see it? <laughs> so if a Christian huh. prince, prince is a bad person, for he is quoting the prophet of Islam because of filthy women, she said the Christian women, they have AIDS. Christian, oh, Christian prince, she did not get married because we, we, Christian women, they have AIDS. I said, you are the one who have AIDS. Your husband go around and speak around. Listen, uh, listen, Abdul, listen. So look at this. Did your prophet say? Don't call me Abdul. Don't call me Abdul. Abdul. I haven't heard that before. You are Abdul. You like or like it? And look, you you got uh, Muhammad Hijab busted. Read, my name is read with my me. name is Muslim King. Read, my name is Muslim King. Me. You are no king, and you are not a Muslim because you Muslim insult Jesus. The true Muslim don't insult Jesus. And this is Mimi Hijab. I love he cut Jesus. A video. Muhammad I, Hijab. He cut a video of a Muslim, and I'm going to play the video. Everybody will hear it, so you will see everybody that you are a bunch of corrupt people. How in the world you take a video of a Muslim woman saying that Jesus was playing with his mother boobs, and you don't upset? Uh, you're saying Muhammad Hijab said that. He cut the video. He how in the world he cut the video in the time when she was saying that he did not hear it. <laughs> all I heard was you saying that all Muslim women are prostitutes. That's what I heard. My friend, your prophet, he says Muslim women, they do muta. So you call them whatever you want. Don't change the topic. Did the Muslim women, she Wait, said, what does Mimi, did what the, do you Muslim, mean did the Muslim Mimi women, Hisham? did the Muslim women say that Jesus play with his mother of boobs in the video? Why Mimi Hijab, he cut that part? It is a second before I said, in fact, it's your prophet who did that. And he said to me, said to you suckle me so he cut that part and he put it there so mimi hijab he what does mimi me mean mimi me what does mimi mean mimi is a girl he's a girl he, he said he wanted to debate me but he did not he hung up on me seven times i did not i could not even ask anything i could not even say anything he put the, even the speaker far away from me so nobody will hear what i'm saying but we got him busted Cause, because cause you you life. kept on talking no you kept on I, talking, I could so not you how you. i'm going to talk you see you're supposed to be debating so he said you have 30 seconds to answer hang up on him go watch the video and you are the one who's asking people to go watch it right wait can i say something can i say you, something you can say something now i'm asking you when mimi hijab he okay, says wait, one sec, can one sec. i suck wait, your just... wife tits is that a person who is a muslim he go around to say to a sheikh. He was saying to a sheikh, "Can I suck your wife' tits?" And the scream in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even know if that's real or not. I don't care if you know or not. This is this is him. You can go and ask him. This is in Twitter. This is this is a screenshot from what he said. And look, those the Muslims are saying to him, "Shame on you, Muhammad." What kind of mannerism are those? Shame on you, Muhammad. And then Muhammad Hijabi said to him, "What's wrong with that?" If he believed it is halal, can I suck you? <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, get lost, go. And they say to me, why you hang up? A bunch of cowards. Those Muslims, they hate Jesus to death. Because there's no way a person who claimed to be a Muslim, and he claimed that he believed that Jesus is a prophet, he will cut a video of a Muslim woman insulting jesus saying that jesus was having sexual relationship with his mother what kind of a muslim this muslim is and you know what because you mentioned that i'm going to play the video right now why is a christian abdullah abdullah listen can you kiss the black stone or not can, can you kiss the black stone for me when when the next time you will go to hajj i want you to kiss the black stone for me 
Oh, you want to to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you, show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no. Show me, you, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't kiss anything. Show me where why, you why you're a prophet? You why you're a prophet? The pagan prophet? You why your pagan prophet kiss a stone? Your prophet is no, a pagan no, man. No, why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? What? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the God in the heavens. What? I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know, you know, you know what? You know what? She's been around the world, and the Muslim. She, they said she was a, she was a, a very young girl. She's a green one woman. She been all around the world, but she is a, she is a virgin. And look what the virgin will say, according to them. Why you kill, no, why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pig. So I'm not asking. I'm not talking about something filthy. I'm just asking why your prophet kiss the black stone. That's all. You are a pagan. Oh, did, did you kiss a stone no, or not? Did you, did, you, did you kiss who a stone? Created, who, who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, then Jesus don't create the stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, kiss. No, you no, must no. kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kiss the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Listen, he uh, play with his so, mother poops. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He with, did you hear it, son of Muta? Did you hear it, son of Muta? He said, Jesus, he did more. And look how the way she is talking. Listen carefully. Uh, in fact, Jesus did more. What? Did more? He played with what? Oh. Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he played with his so, mother poops. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He played with his mother. What? You, Oops, you must be okay. You see, you see guys. You see guys. You see guys. You see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she said. Like okay, show me, that show that me. Jesus okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played that with his mother. Show, show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You, you listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Oh, this is the part he copy. Do you see the faith in me? Hijab is a street boy. A person who respect himself, he will not try to smear me by fabricating story. She is a whore and nobody can defend her. No Muslim, no Christian. Suddenly, the whore she became a virgin, and the virgin she became a victim. And Christian Prince is talking about something private. The woman she was so decent, she was wearing burqa, she was praying to Allah. She was not speaking as a whore, insulting Jesus. This is your mini hijab, a bunch of sons of Muta. Muslims. Christians, go watch the video of Hijab. Go watch it. We'll laugh at him. You have 30 seconds to answer, and I get him busted in the 30 second. I was caught in your faithy prophet, and then he made a video says perverted the Christian prince, Christian uh, 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 what preacher perverted. And look, he is the one going around saying, suckle me to Muslim women. For me, I have a reason. I was answering her. She is the one who mentioned boobs. And don't forget that your prophet truly is the one who ordered Muslim women to give their boobs. So Muhammad Hijab is not doing anything wrong according to me. And now Muhammad Hijab, he said that Allah don't have hands. Listen to this and laugh. Who of you is lying? You are a bunch of liars, all of you potatoes. All of you are a bunch of liars. Nobody trusts you. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg. <laughs> and Mimi Hijab in the debate with David Wood said to him, who said so? <laughs> so it looked like the Muslims, they have many gods. Every one of them, he have different God. The one who just called me, he says, yes, Allah can transform his shape. <laughs>
So he just admitted that Allah have a shape. And as long as Allah have a shape, that means he's contained inside a physical space. Because he have a shape. He said that. And as long as he transforms his shape, do Allah become a man? Do Allah become an elephant? So when we say those are, and you know, and what is funny, he said the Muslim scholars, and I say, who is the scholars? He said, they're like Mimi Hijab and Zakir Naik. I said, Mimi Hijab is a scholar. He said, the, he's the debater. What? What is that? Is that a career? Debater? He's a liar. Here we go. We are laughing at him. He did not help Islam. People are laughing at Islam. This is why he gets so upset from me. Because after he finished his debate with David, when I made him shish kebab, I showed everybody that everything he said, he said to David Wood, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe that God have a son. And go watch the video and die laughing. So the, he accused the Quran to be the book of lies because the Quran says that the Jews, they worship a man, his name is Uzair, and they believe he's the son of Allah. But the donkey was screaming on the stage saying not a single Jew not a single Jew but lucky he was debating David Wood not me if I was in the stage I would make everybody laugh at him in the spot read it but anyway the video is still there still we are laughing not a single Jew believe that God has a son not a single Jew so the Quran is a book of lies because according to Mimi Hijab, not a single Jew believe in such a thing. So when the Quran says, and the Jews say, not one Jew, the Jews, do you see the word Jews? The Jews, the Christians, not one Christian, not one Jew. So you Mimi is our joke. That's why he don't dare to debate me. He, 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 you know, he made a show. He says, who you want me to debate? This guy, this guy, this guy. They said to him, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, he's making a lot of Muslims leave Islam. And now what he would do, he brought seven Muslims. Call him. Uh, actually, I did not call. I don't know who called because he was running away from me. And the second I call, he play a video hang up. Play a video hang up. Where's the debate? Because he is so much intimidated. They were terrified. Otherwise, trust me, he will have a debate with me. But he was terrified. He was doing poo, -poo in his panty. This is why all of them, they say, we will debate Christian Prince only face to face. Where are they? Here we go. Anyone can call me. As you call me now, this Abdul, maybe Hijab, he can call me. I don't know who's calling me. But they don't dare because it's going to be a big mistake. And even that one who he, he thought is going to be a setup, he will not let me talk. He will play the video. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Did you say that? Which is obviously is a failure. People are laughing. You promise a debate. Where's the debate? Even with the 30 second, he said, did you say that Jesus in the Quran is the Quran says worship, worship Jesus and Allah? And then he starts saying to me, okay, Ibn Kathir, I said, idiot, this is not the same book. Idiot, is it not the same book? He says, I will give you 30 seconds to give me reference. I gave him reference in 10 seconds. And the stupid, he started reading from different book. I said, Abdul, it is not this book, other book. Read, listen carefully. Because they are so much intimidated, they don't know what to do. They are in front of a Christian prince. I am the one who make your prophet shish kebab. You like it, you don't. And none of those who you name their names dare to speak to me. I do call them, they don't dare to call me. I hang up only in kids. Here we go. The kid, he called me. He start, uh, he said, go uh, watch uh, Mimi Hijab. So why you are calling me? Uh, go, people, go watch Mimi Hijab. We laugh. Here we go. This is Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, who want to suck your wife's tits. May Allah bless his tits and the tits of, his, uh, of the women he will suck. This is a good Muslim going around. And by the way, this statement he said was for a sheikh. 
not a Muslim, normal Muslim. He's a sheikh. Just because the sheikh, he says, I agree with the hadith. Muhammad, he was insulting him, saying, I want to suck your wife tits. And you know, the funny is, the Muslims, they say that the one who say to a woman, suckle me, is sick, disgusting. But their prophet ordering the women to suckle me is not sick. <laughs> so the second you caught Muhammad saying a statement, you are sick. But Muhammad who said the statement is not sick. The suckling prophet. And not, by the way, this is not only the prophet, this was a verse in the Quran. But as you remember, the Quran was eaten, uh, eaten by a goat. The hadith says, according to Aisha, which is a good hadith, Hassan, the verse of stoning, I hope that the streaming going fine, the verse of stoning and breast feeding for adult, 10 time, was revealed. Was what? Was revealed. So it was a verse. Is the video buffering, guys? Is the, is the streaming coming fine? Hmm. Don't forget to give us a like for the video if you like it or dislike if you don't like it. Both way is good for me. We are people of truth. Be truthful with us. If you don't like it, say we don't like it. If you have something to say, say something in the comment. Don't be a potato. Don't be a coward. Say something. So when we finish, please make a comment. Tell us what do you think. Tell us what do you think about our friend Rashid who left Islam and him and his family. The Muslims are so angry that here we make a lot of Muslims leave Islam. And here we go. The Prophet said, Aisha, she said, that the verse of his stoning and the breastfeeding for adult ten times. What kind of God he makes such a verse? No wonder the Muslim woman, she was a very trashy person because she is following a trashy man. Trashy God. What kind of God he will order women to give their breast feeding or breast to adult? And then we find that Aisha, she was, and you know the funny uh, Mimi Hijab, he's making fun of the people, but Aisha herself, she was doing it. Aisha, she ordered her nieces and her sisters that nobody will enter upon her unless they do breastfeed this adult ten times. So shall Mimi Hijab make fun of Aisha too because look like Aisha, she got it wrong. Do he dare? He don't. Because he's a potato. So my friend, when those Muslims, they tried to put Christian Prince down by smearing him, they brought more people to me and more people leaving Islam. And now we are doing way better than before. Now, almost every time I go live on air, I have a Muslim leaving Islam at least. So they try to fight us by making fabrication, making it personal. This is what they do. They try to put you down as a person. Oh, he's a bad person. My friend, no one is no one is good in this earth. Only God is good. You can say whatever you want about me. I'm not a prophet. But your God is a perverted God. Here we go. Because of your God, Aisha, she having tens of girls in her office. Young women giving their nipples to a strange men before they can meet Aisha in the White House. So imagine you go to meet Trump or to meet Joe Biden, and now you want to meet his wife. But you cannot see his wife unless you have to suckle the sisters of Aisha and the nieces of Aisha. And Aisha and her sisters, they have their breast on the table, drive through suckling. 
and you have to know that you have to do 10 times suckling until you are satisfied in 10 different days. It's not something you suckle and you go, no. 10 times in 10 different days and you have to leave when you are satisfied. I don't know satisfied from what exactly. I mean, how a man is going to be satisfied, you tell me. Is that a sandwich? And if suckling the breast of a woman will stop a man from thinking about her sexually, that is the last thing you want, you want your wife to do. I challenge any Muslim to order his wife to suckle his neighbor, so the neighbor, when he see her in the yard, he will not think about her in a sexual way. Do it, let us see if it work. Invite your neighbor and tell him, can you suckle my wife? Tits, please. And you have to do it 10 times. And then let us see after 10 times sucking your wife tits, if he will be a good guy to her. I bet you he will, and she will be too, because already they have memory together. Hey, my neighbor, do you remember when you were in my lap last week? Yes, uh, my neighbor, you gave me your nipples, mashallah. They were big and round and warm. My neighbor, I'm so upset from you. Why? Why are you upset? Because you did bite them. You should not bite them that much. My husband, he don't bite them that much. What kind of religion this religion is? So you are upset because we show you the stupidity of your prophet. You target people, you try to bully them. But who care? Bully as much as you want. You are bully like your God. Still your prophet is a scumbag. You like it or not, he is a scumbag. You cannot elevate him. It's not me who come to you with this... Uh, idea of a breast for adult so i'm not the one who brought shame to you it's your prophet who brought shame all right let's see if we have muslims <clears throat> don't ask me to add you to skype i take only muslims Okay. Any Muslim? Too many lies, Mr. Uh, Ultimate Fart, too many lies. We put it in the screen, too many lies. <laughs> Ultimate Fart, what you can say. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, anyway, do we have any more Muslims or we are done? I mean, look at those idiots. We show them everything we say in the screen and they say too many lies. So what they are saying without knowing, there's too many lies in Islamic teaching, because this is your teaching. When you say that those are lies, those lies are written in your books. So what you are saying, that we Muslims, we are a bunch of liars and we lie. So whatever we write in our book is a lie. We say the Prophet said so, we say it's a lie. We say Aisha said so, we say it's a lie. We say Allah said so, we say it's a lie. But who said so? We said so. Who? The Muslims. So when you say it's a lie, you are just getting yourself busted again. What a bunch of dummies. And just to show you how stupid this religion is. Just to show you the extreme stupidity of this cult. Muhammad, he told the Muslim, don't take down, which means don't write down anything I say, except the Quran, which means don't write the Hadith. Because Muhammad, he knew he did a lot of poo-poo there, so he don't want it to be preserved. So don't write down anything from me, and he who took it down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface it. And look how stupid the Abdul, the guy he just told them, don't write in the wall. So they wrote in the wall, don't write in the prophet said, don't write in the wall. 
I mean, do you see the stupidity of this religion? The guy he just told you, don't write down what I say. So you write down saying that the prophet said, don't write down what I say. What kind of hashish you take? He just told you don't write it down. <laughs> Can you believe the stupidity? The prophet said, don't write down anything from me, okay? Because I do a lot of poo, -poo. Okay, Prophet, okay. The guys, the Muslim, they went home. The Prophet today, he says, don't write down anything. And they continue writing whatever he say. As if he said nothing. Like the guy, he just told you, don't write down. Stupidity is beyond imagination. I mean, who can be the stupidity here? Nobody. This is the ultimate stupidity anyway do we have any muslim we can take one more muslim in case there is any <clears throat> anyone who is allah allah is god so why allah he says allah he, allah allah he witness <laughs> Did you see what happened to him? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I know, but <laughs> you got it wrong. I got it wrong. So are you saying to me the Quran could not make it clear? Are you saying to me the Arabic of Allah is stupid? Actually, the Quran witnessed that the Arabic of Allah is stupid. How we can prove that? The Quran says Allah will cause the Muslim to forget Quran in order to make them have better Quran or something similar. Read and love. Whatever verses or revelation we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring better one or similar. Do you see the stupidity? Allah, he will write better Quran than the Quran. Why did Allah go to school? Did Allah, after reading the Quran, he found that his Quran first copy was not good. There's some errors. There's some grammar mistakes. There's some words should not be used there. I mean, how Allah can write better Quran than the previous Quran? And to make it more stupid, he said similar. Better or similar. This is why I call it BS. This is the BS Quran. BS mean better or similar, read it. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He want to cause you to forget verses because he want to bring you similar verses. So why you cause them to forget the verses? All what happened here, Muhammad cannot remember the same verses twice. So to cover his bum, he says, oh, don't worry, Allah will give me something similar. <laughs> and then the Muslims, they say to us, the Quran is preserved. When the Quran says Allah will cause you to forget the Quran, isn't it this is funny? Allah, he says, he will cause them to forget the Quran. The Muslims, they say, we preserve the Quran. Allah said he will forget the Quran. You know, <clears throat> when the Muslim <clears throat> they say that a goat, she ate the Quran, and she ate the chapters of a breastfeeding for adult. I mean, who in the world want to believe this story? Because listen carefully. If the goat she ate the Quran, will the Quran, the goat she ate, the Muslims already they knew. So the Quran is eaten by the goat, but the goat did not eat the memory of the Muslims. Don't the Muslims they say we memorize the Quran by heart? Who is the hero Muslim? He is going to memorize for me the breast feeding for adult verses. The goat ate it in the paper, but she did not eat your memory. Did she? Did this goat go to every house of a Muhammadan in the world and she was licking his brain and eating the paper inside his head? Or she ate only the Quran and the pillar of Muhammad? So, here you can tell the reality is not what they are saying. Obviously, the Muslims, they don't want this verse to be there. They decide to eat it. 
It's not the goat who ate it. It is the Muslims who ate it. This is why Mimi Hijab going around because he's ashamed. There's no way this is we can accept this prophet and God saying suck my wife tits. So Mimi Hijab at that time he decided to eat the Quran and then they blame the the goat. I'm so glad they did not blame the Jews because usually they blame the Jews for everything. But that moment there's no Jews left. He killed them all, so they can't blame the Jews. So we blame who? The goat. Okay, the goat ate the Quran. What about the verse in the head of Aisha? What about the verse in the head of Abu Bakr? Omar? The Muslims? And what kind of God he could not stop a goat from eating his book? And this is why I say to you, if you are an author or a writer, please don't let the goat enter your house. She will eat all your books. Learn from the mistake of Muhammad. <clears throat> you are quoting not authentic hadith. Look at this idiot. It says here, Hassan. Guys, you are quoting not authentic hadith. It says Hassan. Hassan means good. So look like in Islam, they call it good, but it's bad. Hassan is one of the names of the grandsons of Muhammad. So Muhammad was calling his grandson Hassan when he is supposedly is bad. He called him bad. Hassan. So if it's not authentic, why you call it Hassan? Hassan means good. Ah, we Muslims, when we say good, we mean bad. Aha. Uh -huh. By the way, I posted two days ago a video, a movie. It's uh, it's posted for free in YouTube by YouTube. Uh, I forget the name. You guys go to uh, to my page in Patreon, click on it and watch it. You will see the guy. He called Muhammad like a hundred guys behind him. They stand up. It's a comedy, but it's a good and a true movie. Go watch it. It's a comedy. It's a very good about about Islam. Perfect. So this is the truth. This is the truth. We show them a hadith which is true. It is says Hassan, good. They say not authentic. Anything is embarrassing, it is not authentic. Hassan is not Sahih. Uh, just to show you your stupidity, my friend. Let me take a, sc uh, a screenshot for your uh, answer. Guys, Hassan is not Sahih. So what the word Sahih mean? Mean correct. Hassan mean good. <laughs> In fact, the word good should be better than the word correct. Because it's good. Isn't it God only good? When we say good, it's mean no bad in it. It's mean it's way better than authentic. But if I go with you, if Sahih is not authentic, so why you call the whole book authentic and why is called Hassan if it's not authentic? It's amazing how those people try to defend their stupid prophet. It is Hassan. Hmm. Okay, what about this one? Is this one Hassan or good? Your prophet is mentally ill. He imagined himself doing things. In fact, he did not. Are you there? According to this hadith, your prophet is a bewitched man. So who in the world want to follow a bewitched man, which means he controlled by the devil? Read with me. This is Al-Bukhari, which means it is already authentic. Is that Hassan or bad or good? Look, the prophet, he discovered that shaitan, he farted when you pray. Is that Hassan or good? Look, this one, it says Sahih. Is that Sahih mean Hassan or it mean bad?
Muhammad, he have a degree in 14. Look, this is Aisha, this is authentic, Al-Bukhari. The Prophet, he do boom, boom, but not with the wives. With who then? The Prophet, he imagined himself doing boom, boom, but in fact, he did not. So he was doing it with who? Because it turned to be not the wives. Then with who? Is that authentic? Yes, it is. This is Al-Bukhari. What we will do now? The Prophet, he died by poison. Is that Hassan? Da'if? No, this is Al-Bukhari. This is very authentic. How he died? He died by poison, cutting his order or artery. This is exactly what the Quran says. If Muhammad is lying, Allah will cut his artery. If Muhammad is lying or fabricating Quran, the Quran say, Allah will cause him to die by cutting his artery. Read it. Chapter 69, verse number 46. Do you see it? Okay. Let us compare it with the hadith. Is this hadith is weak or this is al-Bukhari? It's al-Bukhari. It is very authentic. The Prophet, Aisha, she said, the Prophet in his element, which he died, used to say, used, which means here for a long time he said that. Aisha, Aisha, I feel the pain caused by the falafel I ate at Khaybar. I, at this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off from that poison. And by the way, the last thing your prophet he did when he died, he asked Aisha to bring a dish. He pissed on it and he died. Is that Hassan or weak? The last thing Muhammad he did. He pissed. I mean, did Muhammad, is he a prophet he knew is going to die soon? Shouldn't he pray? Shouldn't he do something different? He piss? Muslims, is it true that your prophet, the last thing he did, he piss? I mean, look, he's a prophet. He predicted that he would die. So he decided to piss. <clears throat> How you can say that Muhammad said curse on G in Jews and pagans if Jesus cursed a fig tree? You know, this is a very silly, I don't know. what. So uh, uh, are you upset for the feeling of the fig tree? Look at this guy. He is upset. Jesus, he cursed the fig tree. Is the fig tree was one of your family? She was a human. It's a tree. So Jesus, he gave us an example that I am the Lord. When I give you, I, I ask you for fruit. You don't give an excuse. Say it's not my season yet. And here you see that Jesus, he cursed the tree. He killed the tree by saying a word, which is additional proof that Jesus is God. Can you kill a tree by a word? You cut a tree, you burn the tree, and still the roots will grow. So you are a silly, stupid. <clears throat> Same time, Muhammad, he curses the Jews, but who care about his curse? It's working the opposite way. The Jews are flourishing. The Muslims are dying. So look what happened. Let us compare. Jesus, he cursed the tree. The tree died. Muhammad, he cursed the Jews. They get richer. <laughs> I would like you to curse me too then. Please, can you call your prophet to curse Christian Prince? I want to change my car. If you don't mind, 
Next time you go to the Kaaba, or sorry, to Medina, you go to your prophet grave, says to him, please, 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 I want you to curse Christian Prince. My friend, I want to be rich like the Jews. So you're a prophet curse the Jews. What happened to the Jews? What's wrong with those Abdul? All of you Muslim buying weapons these days from them today, just today, a prince from Saudi Arabia arrived to, 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 to Israel because they want to build manufacture of weapons in Saudi Arabia. They want the defense of, of Israel. In Iraq, they want the defense of Israel. Nobody can defend them. Israel, the Jews are defending you these days. Muhammad, he cursed the Jews. He cursed himself. He said, if I am lying, Allah will cut my altar. And this is how he died. So it looked like the curse of Muhammad work only against himself. I need to study the science of the hadith. No, my friend, I do not. I will leave that for you. Here it says Sahih. <laughs> so look at the stupidity. They are the one who study it, and they are the one who made it uh, uh, good, and then they say it's not good. <laughs> The science of the hadith, and by the way, when your prophet he made the hadith, he told you the way of the science of the hadith work, or this is your fabrication too. Who is the one who come with the science of the hadith? You tell me, it's your fabrication. The first time a hadith was was written, it was three hundred years after Muhammad. Al Bukhari himself, his book is not exist. Sahih Muslim, his book is not exist. So where do you get the hadith from? Where is the book of Al Bukhari? I just told you why Jesus did that. You are just, obviously you're an idiot. Jesus he cursed the tree because the tree has now has no fruits. So he was giving example to the disciple. When I ask you for fruit, you don't say it's not my time. I'm your Lord. All of you you have to give a fruits. No excuse. The tree is not her season, but because I the Lord. Even the tree, she have to give me fruit. So when Jesus, he do things, he didn't do it to show his power. He do it to show what you should do, how you can serve him. So a time will come and he will ask the Christians, you spend your life in this earth, what you did. They will say to him, some of them, we used to be a fig tree. We give fruits only in season. Then he will say to them, depart from me, I do not know you. Anyway, silly people. Do we have any Abdul? Our Skype is open and until now we are not receiving any attempt from any smart Muslim. Look like they are pretty much in retreat. Yeah. Well, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time, guys? Because, you know, I, I need to go and do... Uh, I want to go to the heaven of Allah. And nobody can describe the heaven of Allah like Allah. And Allah, he says, nobody knows the heaven of Allah. Nobody can describe the heaven of Allah, but I'm going to describe for you the heaven of Allah. In Jannah, in the paradise, ما لا عين رأت. There is no such... Eyes can even see something uh -huh. like the Jannah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Not even the ears, you cannot even hear true. about the true Jannah because the Jannah is beyond what you are hearing. Okay. You not even imagine, you cannot even describe or, or think what is the Jannah. Uh, before, let me describe something beautiful about your castle. Do you see the stupidity? The guy, he said, I can't describe for you the Hajj Jannah. And now he said, let me describe your castle. He just said, nobody can imagine, nobody can think, nobody can describe it. Second after he said, let me describe your castle. I mean, where the stupidity is made. So you made a presentation saying, nobody can describe the heaven for you. When you finish saying that, you say, let me describe your castle. 
I mean, the guy, he can't only describe the heaven, he described even the house in the heaven. Tell me about the castle, what will happen? I will have a castle there? Really? Okay. Your castle in the Jannah yeah. is something so beautiful. Really? Your castle in the Jannah... You just said you never saw it. Like, what the heck? And nobody saw it. What the heck? And you can't imagine it. What the heck? And now you are describing it? has four doors here we go your castle have four doors what do you want more how many of you wish to have a house have four doors but remember he can't describe it i will have a house with four doors why because i have four wives or what no anyway i'm not going to play the whole video it's silly actually once i played this video in a church literally with my comment for sure because if you watch it alone you will not notice how stupid it is most of people at least will not notice but i played this and i stop and i make comment people they f in the floor man people they were they are sitting in a, in a plastic chairs you know and uh, uh, there's like a there's a guy who was really heavy duty he's really big he is so big in the, in the body he he was laughing and then he fell when he fell into to his back he opened his arms to hold himself from failing but he made all the chairs in the left of his and his right fell down with him all of this because of this video unbelievable but anyway I don't want you to be stressed with such a video. No way.